Vert wiggle, vert wiggle. Hello! Happy New Year! How you all doing, guys? El Tigre! Appreciate that, man. Thank you. That's uh, my time away. Mm-mm. Uh, I see you've all known us. We got a brand new emote. Little wiggly moat. I know everyone's got a wiggly moat, so now we got one. It's lovely. It's lovely. How is everyone's new year? <laughs> it's a little wallaby. My year has started off interesting. I'll give you an update shortly, but uh, it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> too sexy. Thank you for the two gifted subs. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, uh, up 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 wallaby up up up. Uh Fuck Wrong ladder up All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, listen Listen, I'm I'm, I'm gonna do the hype train, all right? But, but Wallaby dancing isn't canon, okay? Unless, it's, unless someone Happy sees us, New because Year. I'm gonna roleplay him being slightly injured. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it down here. Fuck me, God damn it! All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. All right, hype train time. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hope you had a lovely New Year's. Uh, I've missed you, been away for a few days, but we good now. We good. Um, so. Because of the love you guys have shown me over the last uh, couple weeks, I was able to do something crazy, and I bought myself a. Um, I treat. I treated myself. Okay, I treated myself, and I bought myself a uh, little uh, British bulldog, little English bulldog. The little girl, little girl named Luna. We, we named her Luna, and uh, she she she's adorable. She's in the other room right now. Um, I'll show you a picture in a little bit, but. Thank you for the love of uh, for, for last year, um, but let's let's get this fucking hype train started. Thank you so much for starting one nice and early in the fucking stream, as usual. Honestly, it's like a fucking every stream thing now. You know what to do. You get those dances in the moat in the in the chat. You can also do the uh, the wiggle. Thanks so much for the hype train, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 2023, my very first 2023 stream. We might be going to Guarma. I don't know, we'll see. Smoothie, thank you for the nine months. Andrew, thank you for the 23. Norma, Nord Domus, of course, eight months. Captain Dre, gifting out a sub. Too sexy, thank you again, mate. Spanks, Riser TV, Space Cat Cat. 
How you doing, Jughead? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Two years. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Plebo! <laughs> Thank you for the uh, the bits. Appreciate that. Speed Venom with five gifted subs. Oh, Jack. J Jack. Oh, God. Level three hype train. Here we go, boys. Hey, if I had to come down. Jack with 10 gifted subs. Dude, you are a... You're something else, man. You are something else. 72 gifts in total. Squeakle? Squeakle, thank you for the year of support, bro. Thank you so much. RDR Rock is another familiar face. Thank you for the five. All aboard. Shakaka! Give you our five subs as well. Oh god, this train's going. Okay. Alright, alright, I'll play it. I'll play it, I'll play it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Kaleeb! Whoa, 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 whoa. How much? Ten gifts of subs from Kaleeb? Oh, you guys are gonna get some sick emotes, man. Who needs the new wiggle when you got the, uh, the hype trade emotes coming? Do you guys like the wiggle? Hope you do. Little little wallabies. Da, 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 da. I got more being made, by the way. Da, da, da. All right, all right. You know, let's get some haze in the chat. Wait, but is, is this a hay pot? Is this a hay pot? Let's get some haze. Let's go. There we go. I'm sorry, Vod. I'm sorry. Glorious. You're right. I need to. I need. To, I need to pay someone to do a cover of this and change it to Ra Ra Wallaby. Oh my god. They're gonna whack him. More haze, more haze. Da 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 da. You know what? <laughs> I'll wait. Hazel Lalane, thank you for the eight months. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but appreciate it. Killers, thank you. All right. Last 30 seconds. Let's get all the wiggles and all the dances in the chat. Let's go. One last push.
<laughs> oh boy oh boy thank you so much for the hype train guys i i thank you thank you i need to get some water let's get some water down here so those of you that weren't here in my last stream we uh we robbed a bank in valentine and we used another ambush strat against law uh i got downed while shooting down another lawman uh, we both took each other out um and i thought that the whole thing was a bust but luckily for us um scout decided to go fucking mental <laughs> and took out pretty much the entire department <laughs> by himself um which end up helping us all get away which is crazy um so we all got away we're on the run now we don't i might be lucky i don't know we butted them up yeah 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 all right goosey <laughs> yeah. yeah goosey was flushing out the game he was being like the uh he, he was distracting he was definitely distracting them I don't know if they needed distracting. They were very clueless as to what was happening behind them. But, um... I think we might be... A, listen. Let's let, let's go through this... Let's go through this reasonably. What could they possibly arrest us for? Like, 100% charges. I don't think... I don't think... Well, I give us a 50% chance of getting out of the Blackwater Bank. I give me, I give us a 50% chance. All right. They can 100% pin us for the hostage taken in Annisburg. That's not questionable. Um, and Valentine, I don't think they know we were there. We might not be facing all that much time as Wallaby. We might be lucky. How's the year? Um, it's still infected, but I think I'm on the back end of it. Um, but yeah, as I was going to say, I, so... I, I bought a dog. I bought I bought a puppy. And I, I've been saying that I, I, I live in a small house. And I have no yard. Okay. Um, and I love dogs. I've always been a dog person. And I, I have a dog that lives with my dad. It's a German Shepherd. And there's no way my German Shepherd could live in my house. So my German Shepherd lives with my dad. Uh, Caesar, as you know. If you guys remember. It's such a long time ago now. Um, but... I just had this urge, like I, I wanted, a, I wanted a dog be because, happy for you. <laughs> like I, I want to, I want to get out of the house more. I want to like, like I spend a lot of time in the house, um, like on the PC or, or like watching TV and stuff. And I want to get out and, and 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 be more active in the new year, right? Now I know everyone says that, but I just miss having like a little little dog, you know, like a, a companion that can you know you spend time with, go outside with, and. I just decided, you know what? I want a puppy. <laughs> and then I started doing research. What are the best dogs for uh, for like apartment living? I'm not in an apartment, but I might as well be. I've got no yard. I live in a small house. Um, I looked up some dogs and all the breeds are very... Hmm. All the breeds that are good for indoors aren't really dogs that I'm interested in. But then I saw the British Bulldog. I'm like, oh my god, I've dude. Bulldog is one is one of those breeds that I've always wanted, and I've always been intrigued. I think they're fucking beautiful dogs. So I put that on the short list, and then I did research on which dogs are best around cats because I got two cats, and then Bulldog came up again because they're very very chill. So it ticked off the two boxes. They're good for in the indoors. They're good around other pets. And then I'm like, okay, I got my niece and ne nephew that live next door. And I want them to... They don't, they don't have a dog, uh, my brother. So I really wanted to um, get a dog that they could... Oh, God. I wanted to get a dog that could... Um, that they could bond with and be friendly, you know? And, and bulldogs, again, bulldogs. Top of the list of, like, dogs that are really good around kids. I know the drawbacks is they have bad, they they, have, they can be very uh, sick. You got to look after them. But anyway, um, so I decided I'm gonna get a bulldog. 
and I did some research and it turns out there was some puppies available about an hour away from me where I live and I went out yesterday I bought her do you guys want to see her let me show let me show you I did put it in the I did put it in the discord however not everyone is in the discord let me show you my little bulldog And this is, I brought her home yesterday and she spent <laughs> little Luna. So we brought her home and she's been good. She's been super chill. The cats, Peanut, Peanut will not go near her yet. Like Peanut will stay away. Actually, Peanut swatted her, swatted at her yesterday, um, which scared Luna, unfortunately. But um, Winx... Winx is pretty fucking chill. Like, Winx will let Luna get, like, really close to her before she hisses. Peanut, Peanut, I knew was going to be a problem because Peanut was really awkward when we got Winx. So I knew that she would be the tougher one. But Winx is surprisingly pretty chill. And I think they're going to get along very quickly. I, I think within a week, I think the, the three of them will be fine. Um, But... We bought, I bought a crate for her to sleep in and we put her in there yesterday and within one minute of putting her in the crate, she was crying and barking. She doesn't, she's not a barker. Like she doesn't bark, but she did bark in the crate. <laughs> and, uh, I, listen, I know you're not supposed to, I know, but we couldn't do, okay. I couldn't help it. All right. So she slept in the bed with me last night. All right. I'm not going to lie. I woke, I woke up this morning with her licking my face. She like... <laughs> she had to sleep in the fucking bed, alright? And I did some research, it's not bad, alright? Because, because you gotta understand, like, when they're puppies, when they're in the, when they're in their litter, they, they're used to, like, being with their, with their siblings, right? They all, like, just jump in a pile and they sleep in a pile, right? So... You got to get her to lay in the crate with the door open. Yeah, not going to happen. Not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. Listen. She's sleeping with me. That's it. It's, it's over now. She spent the first night with, in the bed with me. That's it. It's fucked. It's over. I fucked it, right? I fucked it. I fucked it up. I fucked up, right? But don't worry about it. We got this shit, okay? Don't worry about it. It's fine. My biggest priority... I don't need her to be a super. Been a year, but I've been watching since Rust. Thanks for the thank great you, entertainment. D -E -R -T -I -I -G -O. <laughs> Lock, thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. So much love. Um, my last few streams, which is why I was able to um, to do something crazy. <laughs> this is a you issue, not a her issue. Okay, listen, dude. I'm okay with her sleeping in the bed. All right, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Listen, at the, at the end of the day, she doesn't need to be a super trained dog because bulldogs are pretty stubborn dogs. They're not the easiest to train. As long as she goes outside and she lets me know, that's the, the potty training is the most important part and walking and like being alert about the road and stuff. Uh, she'll be fine, man. She'll be, she'll be fine here. So what I might do is I probably, I don't, she, see, she, she can't jump up onto the bed. She's the most unathletic dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Mate, if you've got a step that's like half a foot, that's it. She she can't that it's over. She she don't know what to do. <laughs> she don't know what to do. She, thank god we got no stairs, man. Alright, we got some telegrams here. We got one from He's gone. Deputy's dead. What? Deputy's dead, and my mama's gone now. Oh, right. The horse? I'm really sad. I'm so worried about you. I failed you. Oh, man. I feels bad, man. The horse. Zip. So, with the order of guns. I mean, Deputy Booger? That's an old... Dude. God damn it. I'm going to have to buy another horse. Can I maybe do some work to help pay off the next order? I recently found out I'm I'm gonna be a father and she pop God there's a fuck there's gonna be a, a, a zip offspring. 
I should probably start pulling, putting some money to the side. If not, it's fine. I'll still need the guns. <laughs> this guy's a fucking maniac, man. He's like, I'm going to be a dad. I need to start putting money aside. So give me some guns so I can go to war. <laughs> Classic, man. Classic. Good stuff. He wants work to pay off. Hmm. I'll think about that. Thought you should know. There is a fella in here from 10 tons that gave a guard a letter saying Edwin is going after law. I'll get more info on it. I'll let Edwin know. Wait, what? There's a 10 ton member that gave a guard a letter saying Edwin is going after law. Interesting. Are you healing? Fine. I gave the code information on how to treat you. It has an effect. I also gave Scout any information on what deputies know. Okay, good to know. FYI, Mills and Alice are in Guama right now. Perfect. I got a telegram from Amber as well. She's living there now. Uh, once I get out, I told her I'd be going to visit. She wasn't as close to missing the end, but I still wanted to... Okay. Okay. So... What we'd learned from that is we got to kill the 10 ton gang. Now I've got an in character reason to avenge my death on Boyd. Fantastic. Um, let's go this way. Now I want to go to Guarma. Um, I'd love to go to Guarma today. You guys feel like I want to Guarma? You guys want to... We haven't been to Guarma yet. Maybe today's the day we go to Guarma. It's crazy. Guarma's been out for how long now? It's like three months. And I still haven't been with Wallaby. Crazy, who are these people? That's a fucking Is that Litchfield? I can't tell, it's like no, it looks like a looks like a land cast. It's just not textured in. It's time. No more blue balls. Imagine if I did it again. Who has the tickets? I don't remember who has the tickets though. We didn't give them the fucking peaches, did we? Oh, I hope we didn't give the tickets to peaches. I would I would assume that Scout probably has them. What do I want to wear? Go with this one. These people here are doing like insane runs, like constantly. I've seen them go past a couple times now. The Guama outfit is so bad, lol. <laughs> I'm not going to wear that in Guama. It was a troll, dude, obviously. You can. Irishman, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's the pup? She's doing good. She's with Sarah right now. Um, it was um, it was an interesting night last night because bulldogs have like they make funny noises, man. She's like snoring next to me. And she just decided halfway through the night that she just decided, you know what, your face is my pillow, and I just woke up like with her resting her chin on my forehead. But then she sleeps in like the, oh my God, man, the, the bulldogs, like I've owned a few puppies and I haven't seen any other puppy lay the way that this dog lays. Like she will be, she will be on her, she was on her back yesterday. She was on her back and her legs, all four legs are just flopped to the sides. Like, outspread. She's just completely spread out. Like, splayed. <laughs> the Bulldogs are funny, man. They're funny dogs. But, you know, I've, I've, we've only had it for a day. Not even a day yet. Not even, a, not even 24 hours, but, you know. She's adorable, man. And we, we were bouncing around name ideas. I, I was going to go with Pumpkin. And then I kind of cooled off on that idea then Sarah wanted Lucy and then we we're gonna do we we're gonna do Alice but then um for some reason like Luna just stuck with me I, just, I like Luna so we went with Luna I like short names man for dogs big vet bills for bulldogs they can they can um it's not it's not a, like it's that's not the like if, if you 
maintain your dog. Like if, if you look after the bulldog, you're still gonna have to have vet, you're gonna have vet bills, but you can really reduce that if you just look after them. They are they are a little high maintenance when it comes to that. But the 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 beauty of it is is that if, although that she's gonna probably be high maintenance, she's a super chill dog. So, you know, if she was high maintenance and was one of those dogs that aren't gonna let you like clean her or clip her and you know the folds in the fucking face, especially you'll look after like. The fact that she's so chill, she doesn't really care what you're doing. It makes it easier. You could have called the dog dog. <laughs> That's what my granddad's dog is called. That is pretty funny. What's up? Uh, we're gonna probably go. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I didn't send fucking telegrams to people, man. Why do you guys tell me? <sighs> Fuck. We did. We tried. All right. You know what? Let's go to. Let's go to Saint. De let's go Saint Denis. All right. Fuck it. Let's go Saint Denis. Let's risk it, man. Let's risk it, man. I got some telegrams. I got to pick three people to take to Guarma with me. Eddie. I'd love to take Flood if Flood's around. Scout. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> Imagine Wallaby sending grams on his own. You know what, Goosey? I, you, you know what? The fucking... Complaining about my telegrams is so 2022, man. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. You need Scout. Okay, okay. listen. Maybe. Maybe need Scout. I don't plan on going to war over there, okay? I'll never be good at telegrams, okay? I'm gonna send telegrams out to people. I probably shouldn't wear this hat. I, I look too much like the kid. Even though, dude, we're gonna get fucking spotted. This is such a bad idea, but I love it. I love it, man. What are the cat's names? Well, we got Peanut. She's a Burmese. And we've got uh, Winx. Winx the Sphinx. Hairless cat. Winx is gonna love the dog, man. Once, once Winx figures out that that Luna is literally a fucking hot water bottle for her during the winter time. They're gonna be the best of friends. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna love it. Peanut's gonna take a little bit more time. Uh, that, that was expected. Alvin, Eddie, Flood. I'm going to send telegrams out and see what happens, man. I can't take everybody, unfortunately. I mean, they can all come over. I, I think Scout has the tickets. Or Dakota has them. Man, if Peaches has the tickets, we're fucked. Surely she doesn't have the tickets. She might have one. Maybe. She probably has one ticket. Unless you give it back. That'd be interesting. You have 50k. You can get more tickets. Listen, Iron. No, we don't. We have 57k. And you don't know why we have... Do you know why we have 57k? It's because I'm a fucking hoarder. Right? If only I was, if only I was a hoarder IRL. If only. But in game, I'm a fucking hoarder, man. Talk to Goosey. I was like not spending any gold in Dark and Darker, even though the game was resetting in like two days. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Them be horses, man. Them be horses. What the fuck is going on here? Dude, I gotta do the I gotta do the wallaby voice. Can I have it? Oh. Hello. Hello. Alright. I hate, 
I'm always gonna warm back into it. I'm sure we fine. The diamond deal was epic. Yeah, dude, it was. It was, man. Okay. Get the water ready. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no law, no law, no. That's not law, right? Nah, he's wearing a fucking pirate. Yeah. Flat cap, definitely crim. No, wait. It was a pirate. Pirate hat. No, it's not. It's a flat cat. I can't fucking tell what the fuck that is. Alright, uh, let's go. First things first. Eddie. Wallaby. It's a flat cat. Criminal. Meet at Fort. Oh, I don't fucking team speak on. Hold on. Take Adelaide with you. The fuck was... What's that going to do for me? <laughs> what's that going to do for me? Do we... Do we... No, we don't tell him I'm speedy. <laughs> hey, how you like that, eh, dickhead? Huh? <laughs> I'm blocking you. Man, I, man I, I, I stopped telegramming him like months ago, and he keeps coming back, man. He, this guy can't take a fucking hint. <laughs> speedy only causes issues. Though, it could be good to bring Speedy. I'll tell you why. Speedy has a, a talent of asking questions, and I feel like asking questions to the Gorma people might be actually good for us. So I'm going to actually send Speedy a telegram. I don't know if he'll actually come with us, but I won't be a prick and I'll send him a telegram because he could potentially be useful. <laughs> I love that sus emote. That's a good emote. That's very good. That's very good. Gorma finally. It's looking like it. You know what we need to do? We need to buy Gavin Summer's pistol today if we see Flood. Flood. That's who I got a telegram. Wallaby. Might head to Guama today. We'd like to see you first if you are around. Should we do intro? We should do intro, right? We should do intro. Right, let's go to the fucking fort, bruh. I will loans, I will. We wear we 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 are wearing green today. That's good, right? Right? Our lucky colour. Ladies and gentlemen, today we go to Guama? <laughs> Town known in Sydney in Australia Wrote a boy with a six gun in his hand And his daring life of crime Made him a legend in his time East and west of the Rio Grande There's still a lot of dead people in the titles, just letting you know Well, he's gone with a bank in Valentine. In the pocket of his vest, of coat he hid. And his age and his size took the teller by surprise. And the word spread of the Wallaby King.
came to town fucking weird <laughs> yeah that was uh <clears throat> that's the uh spotify release of the ballad when oh i wish man i wish man i think you can download it in my discord i i believe someone might have the link i don't know irishman thank you again mate 686 thank you for the tier one sub welcome to the empire who remade the song? It's, I mean, it's in the it's in the credits, man. Shouldn't have to go over this. Rhodes Bank after Guarma, I assume. So I I figured out. Okay, so I've been thinking about it. All right, and you remember when I said I wanted to do like a ten v ten thing in Rhodes? I was going to ask staff approval of that. You have to, right? However. Someone brought up to me, and I think they're right, that they probably won't approve it because they usually only approve things like that big if it's to close off an arc, right? Which makes sense. Otherwise, you'd have a lot of people requesting a lot of things, right? But I thought of a get around, man. It's not going to be exactly the same, but here's what I'm thinking. We hit, we hit roads. We do the same thing, 6v6, like we have with the other banks. Fingers crossed we get out alive. It's going to be very hard because I think once the law figure out it's DEG, they're probably going to get into position. They're going to be, they're going to be ready for a shootout. So we might have to throw a curveball for Rhodes. But here's what I'm thinking. What if... What if... We do a roleplay bank robbery like we did with St. Denis, but we do it in Armadillo. If we do that, 
and we role play we like if we role play that we can't get into the bank and we start shooting up the town technically the rule states that law can bring as many people as they can because it's within town and it's not actually a bank robbery so they can bring more than six that would be a cool way to get busted is if we get like a 10v6 situation in armadillo that would be fucking amazing imagine if we ran across the street got into the saloon and held up the saloon against like 12 law that could be so dope how you unlock the law i'll send a telegram i'll send an anon banks being robbed in armadillo the dead end gang they'll show up are you trying to get busted there comes a point man when you gun down so many law and you get away and you get away with it that there, there comes a point where i feel like you have to you have to give back a little right they've been on the receiving end of us the last couple of times now i'm not saying that the 10 listen we might win the 10 v6 in armadillo it's not impossible but i feel like they should be a pretty overwhelming force in armadillo and give them a really good shot of bringing us in you gotta nerf yourselves i don't know man law's got some really good shooters dude i hope rabbit's there man you know i'm not fucking around with rabbit because wallaby has heard about rabbit he's heard of her exploits as soon as I hear her say Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, she's getting blasted, man. I will fucking blast her to oblivion. As soon as those words leave her lips, she's getting fucking destroyed. All right? I guarantee you. Saints Cross and Sheriff, bang, dead. <laughs> I ain't fucking around with Rabbit, man. With a goddamn pump shotgun. Not happening. All right? She might be used to people standing there and just taking it in the face, but it ain't gonna happen to me, dude. She's gonna, she's gonna cop it. She's gonna cop it real good. She's scary, man. I'm gonna take her out very quickly. It might upset her, but... You know, I gotta sweat, man. I have to sweat. That's our new strat now. The sweat tactic. Where are we going here? TNT to the face. Man, I would love a shootout up here. Like, I'd love for Law... But honestly, man, Law Shop here... Don't expect us to hold out for very long. This fort, when it comes to defending, pure trash. It's pure trash. You're better off having cover behind the rocks and shit down below than in here. There's so many gaps. There's fucking dynamite everywhere. This fort stinks, man. You could just hot mic the clue sound effect, throw Rabbit off her game. I mean, I think a Navy shot to the face would throw off pretty well. Yeah, there's, there's gaps in the wall where they can actually climb through as well. This, this fort is not good. It's not good. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a very bad fighting spot. Yeah, that's why no one really comes up here to have a fight. Actually, I, has there been a fight here at the fort? Since I've been on the server? I don't recall. There might have been. I don't remember. No one ever comes up here to fight, man. And there's a reason for that. I have tried to fight up here. And Law just never... Have never bit the bait. Has Luna got along with the cats so far? Um, 22 months She's long. chill with the cats. Like, she doesn't really care about the cats being around. The cats... Uh, it's going to take them a little bit of time. Uh, Peanut will take a little bit longer than Winx, I think. Winx is, uh... Winx still hisses at her if she gets too close. But Winx is, like, fine with just chilling and laying down on the... Like, on the, on her bed. While Luna, like, walks around the bed and stuff. Like, she's pretty chill with her, uh, in that regard. But if, like, Luna goes in for a sniff, that's when she'll hiss. But that'll, that'll pass in time once Winx realizes, oh, she's not gonna hurt me. El Tigre! Thank you for the five gifts of subs, man! For baby Luna, dude, thank you so much, man. Without without all the support you guys have shown me over the last few weeks, man, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done that yesterday. Because bulldogs are not cheap. They are not. Yes, that is the like, God damn it. Uh, 
Lock. Is this the loud one? Yes. Yes. I, you know what? I, I got to fix it, but at the same time, it's like, do you guys even want me to fix it? It's like, fucking, it, it's a meme at this point. It's like, what, what do I do, man? What do I do? I, I mean, Pulp Pimp. Take the five gifted subs, my friend. Yes, it is too loud. Yeah, thank you, RDR. Uh, Pulp Pimp, thank you, man. Coming with five gifts. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you again for the $10 donation, Lock. Man, dogs are feet. You know what happened, man? Dog prices used to be... I mean, dogs were never cheap, right? I bought Caesar, a purebred German Shepherd. Purebred German Shepherd. 10 years ago. Right? And he cost me $700 for a purebred German Shepherd. A purebred German Shepherd now, pup, it's going to cost you three grand at least. And you know what happened, man? It was COVID. COVID came in. Everyone wanted, everyone was, everyone was quarantined in their fucking houses and everyone wanted a dog and a cat. They wanted pets to keep them company. And these motherfucking breeders decided, <laughs> let's crank up the price, man. And they did that. And now when things have cleared up, did they drop it back again? No, they left it there. These pe fucking adopt yeah listen when it comes to adoption man i'm down for it problem is i got cats i've got a nephew and niece i'm not saying that adopt the dogs are violent but it's a little bit more unpredictable because you're, you're dealing with mixed breeds and stuff at least with a bulldog i know the common temperament of the bulldog i understand how the breed works and that was kind of important because you never know you never know adopt the dogs maybe as a puppy maybe the owner was a piece of shit and kicked it around and shit or you know you never know right and plus it's a fucking it's a dude it's a bulldog bro it's a fucking bulldog man i kind of happy that prices went up because now people are less likely to purchase a living being on a whim i have no idea what that means man but dogs are amazing how dare you <laughs> Should we ring around the house in no time? No, she's not. <laughs> no, dude. I walked out this morning with her after her sleep. I took her out to go to the bathroom and she ran full pace, man. Full pace right next to me as I was slowly walking. <laughs> dude, she's not fast at all. At all, man. She ran too fast at one point and she tried to stop and... She couldn't stop, and her head kept going, and she face-planted in the grass. <laughs> they're, they're not... They're... Yeah. <clears throat> they're not being... They're not never being athletes. That's true. You didn't choose the most athletic bulldog, mate. There is no such thing as an athletic bulldog, dude. This dog, the majority of this dog existence is going to be sitting next to me as I stream and just chilling. Eventually, I might have to get a, like a dog cam or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I, 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 was, I, I, I would bring her in here today to like chill with me in the bed. Like I've got a little bed next to my desk, but I, it's important for the first couple of weeks that me and Sarah like keep her company and give her all the attention. Rather than just having her sit in the bed while I do other things, you know what I mean? Because because this is when she picks up habits and stuff. You got to be on top of it constantly and what she's doing and take her out every hour, all that kind of stuff. How long do we wait in this fucking fort for people? I don't want to wait here all day. I'm thinking Guama will be cool, man. Guama's gonna be cool. So I've I haven't been, man. I've been there with Boyd, but apparently the the whole regime over there is completely changed i know that the dictator's gone and they've got something else i don't know i don't know who's running the shot the show over there and i'm glad i don't know i don't know a damn thing don't know a damn thing i don't know if they're gonna be aggressive with us or if they're not it's gonna be interesting um grand champion bullies are athletic have you seen their backs they are chiseled 
All right, mate. I, well, I'm not giving my dog roids, okay? All right. I tell you this. I tell you this much. She ain't gonna be chiseled, unless you consider folds chiseled. <laughs> Good news that Mills and Alice are there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Bodybuilding dogs. Oh, she's gonna be. She's gonna be strong for sure, but she's not gonna be like running around. That's what's good, man, is that she's a puppy, but she's not like, she hasn't got that puppy energy. She's not like running around chasing the cats or anything, man. She's just, she just fucking lays there, man. <laughs> she, she lays there and snorts and farts. I'm, dude, she farted in my face at least three times last night. I'm not even fucking kidding. She's a fart machine. That's not the, listen, it's not glamorous. I'm telling you the Bulldogs, man. Unbelievable farts, man. Like, I'm going to have to get used to it because she's, uh, yeah. <laughs> How old is she at the moment? Uh, 10, 10, 10, 11 weeks. We've got to take her to the vet probably this week. Start paying the vet money. The, the vet's going to fucking see a Bulldog and start rubbing his hands together going, yes. That's one of the reasons why I didn't get a bulldog. They fart and drool like crazy. Now the drooling thing isn't exactly accurate. It can happen. Um But it's not it's not like as common as you'd think, the the, the drooling. But yeah, the farting's definitely that's definitely a thing. Hundred percent a thing. Did you get insurance for the dog? Not yet. Put on raw meat. Yeah, we we are doing raw. We are going to be doing raw. You should name the stream Guama or Sissica. We're not going to... You think we're going to get caught today? Do I have a mod? Let's actually do that. Guama or Sissica. But what happens if we do... What if we do neither? What if we do neither? What happens then? Then I guess it's just null and void, right? We just cancel it. We just refund everybody. Okay, do that. If I've got a mod... Where, where will Wallaby go today and do Guama and Sissica? I'm going to check my telegrams just to see if I've got a reply at all from anybody. It's a horse. Well, that's Edwin? Yes. Okay, we got someone. We've got Edwin here. Oh, team speak. Fuck. Forgot to activate it. Hold on. Don't talk to me, dickhead. It's God. Oh, God. It's Fredo. Go. How you doing? Can't complain. Did you uh offload the stuff? Yep. We are officially about fifty-nine thousand. Did has he gone through puberty? His voice sounds different. Come down below. It's fucking cold up here. He sounds sick. He does sound a little sick. Oh, lag, lag. Are you all right? A little under the weather. Yeah, you sound hurt. That bad, huh? I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's noticeable. I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe a warmer climate would be good for us. For a little bit. Maybe. I think we might do that today, but I don't remember who has the tickets. Scout, Dakota, Peaches. I don't know if they uh, gave it to one person or they all held their tickets individually or not. <clears throat> I'm sure we can find that out. Have you telegrammed them? I did. Hopefully they uh, arrive sooner rather than later. I'd like to get over there and start mingling. Apparently Mills and Alice are over there, so maybe they can introduce us to the important folk. Oh yeah? What have they been doing over there? Well, they've been setting up something. 
I know Mills has a plan for Guama. He's got big dreams. Here's a... Uh... Well, here's what I gotta say. Fuck their dreams. You know what I mean? I will hear them out. But, uh, don't forget about our dream. You know what I mean? Of course. We all look after each other after all. I guess what I'm saying is I don't want to go over there and help somebody else achieve their dream. We'll do what we always do, but, you know. I think it was speedy, but I don't know. Why the fuck are you screaming out like so you, you know? You don't know my voice? What the, I mean, what I, I say? Gun I safety, Eddie. What did I say? Gun safety. <laughs> Put your hands on me again. You'll know about safety. Your honey. What's the matter with you? Matter with, you know my voice. Did what you come in here? What the matter saying? with you? I thought I heard yeah, Saints yeah, Cross and Sheriff's Department. With my voice. Yeah, I said Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. It was yeah, a little yeah. hard to understand with the, you know, rain and storm and such. Oh, really? All yeah. right, well, that's unfortunate. Anyways, good to see you up on your feet. Especially, hey, you were limber, too. I hope that wasn't just the adrenaline. You feeling good? I did good. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling all right. I was thinking I'm maybe you're taking spry. a little trip today. A little trip, huh? Not like the last one where you fell over, huh? What? Like trip as in like trip over your shoelaces? Oh, right, right, yeah. What kind of trip are you talking about? Guama. You alright, didn't you? Guama? Yeah. <sighs> well, that's interesting. What for? Business, setting up connections and such. Mm. Uh, I don't know about anyone who's out there, so I don't really. Anything interesting? Well, that's what I'm hoping to find out. I haven't been over there myself.
You sure you're all right? Yes. We plan to integrate and socialize. We gotta get to. Okay. Do you have any cocaine gum, Eddie? Why would I have that? I don't know, because you've been prone to being. You know. A taken by drugs before. First of all, the drugs don't take me. I take the drugs. Yeah, right. And I never had no problem with no drugs. I could stop whenever I wanted to. I control the drug. That's the difference between me and you. Now smarten up, Speedy. We're are you, going. Are you on to drugs warm right up. now? Because I'm not on drugs. Now, I've seemed to come down with some sort of cold. <laughs> okay. Now I'm all busting right. through things, <laughs> and I keep the agenda and the thing that. <laughs> at, at you the know, no, you're fine. You you're know, fine. The, okay, the, the, I'm just checking to see if you had any. All right, because you look, look a little, little under. You had a coffee. Yet? You gotta you start smartening up, Eddie. Because we got business. You to sound take drunk. Care of. All right, relax. I'm not drunk. You sound drunk. I'm gonna Good smarten Ill. up, Phoenix. Well, maybe you should Sounds start like... doing that, huh? I'm very smart. All I've been hearing is Speedy this, Speedy that. Talk of the town, Eddie. All oh, there she is. Hi. How you doing, Nakara? I'm doing all right. How you feeling? <sighs> you slid your finger in me. I wouldn't word it like that. I'm but... a little sore. Right. You, let me ask a question. Do you have a ticket to Guama? I do. Ah, oh, Scout. You too. You got a ticket to Guama. Mm hmm. That's where I want to go. What the hell are you wearing? He's My wearing a disguise, fella. Yeah, very good. I knew it was just straight away. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Promote scat. There's no ranks, man. All right. When we, I want to go to Guama, but we can only uh, take three, four of us, four of us total. You say you're fit to go? Yes, I'm fit to go. You barely stand right now. That you adrenaline's can wearing on off. Stand for like a few hours. You can stand on a boat, I think. Oh, I sit on the fucking boat. I don't care. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not a little tiny boat. You can sleep on it. That's true. Yeah, you can look live at on you it. with your flowers in your hair. Look at you. You sound patronizing. I, I, I. It oh, does look at you your with your flowers in your hair. hair. What's wow. something on Speedy we can make fun of today, huh? I, all right. If you think I was making. <laughs> Thank you, Speedy. Speedy. I appreciate your notice of the flowers in my hair. Sorry, guys. All right. Well, who the fuck wants to go to Guoma with me? Me. I do. I do. I'll go if you'd like. I, I'm not going to force my way into the trip. Four? I don't know what you're doing, what you need backup for. Or... I'm just, oh, hell, I mean, are there like wanna... lions there? No, it's not about that. It's about... I want to work with Guama. I got ideas to make us money. Unless I know how Guama is, how it operates, how it does business, I'm unable to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is a little bit fights? like Christopher Columbus right now, you know? Yeah, you look like him too. We can all go. If you get your own ticket. I should take us 250. Uh, 300 for there and back. 
All I've right. heard you don't want to go there with the uh, no return ticket. Uh -huh. Like that? Uh, you'll find it very difficult to get back. From hmm. what I've hear, heard, I don't know how true that is or not. All right. We get our tickets. We're bored. We got a Guoma. It's about time. Think I got cocaine gum and Van Horn? I think they still got that there, yeah? Probably. Yeah, right. I don't know if I got $300 on me. I might have to check the slaughterhouse. Uh, I have 490 on me. I'm gonna have to go cut cut this this fake beard off. Yeah, let's uh I got this. You, got yeah, money? you stay away from me with that thing. <laughs> let's go for a ride. You got money? Jutui's injury. Pal, buddy. Not your buddy friend. Due to his injury, we're gonna play it that Wallaby can't but use on this his rifle. Morgan. I don't know what it is about this Morgan, but it is a bat out of hell when it wants you to go. Fucking get it's out crazy. of the way, man! <laughs> Bobby, get out of the way, my horse. I, I said I'll make onion syrup. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna put my rifle away. Oh, you? I can use the the pistol, but not the rifle. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Grabbing water. I can ride this No long running, maybe? Yeah, yeah. My horse is stuck in the tower. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, is this your horse? I'm, I'm, I'm taking it, Eddie. I'm gonna keep it nice and comfy. Is his wound infected? I guess we have to find out to see if uh, he's got to see a doctor. Appreciate it. Hey, you know if we can take the boxes on the boat? <laughs> Anybody been there to know? I think you can, yeah. Yeah, right. I think you can take boxes, right? Yeah, that's good. What am I hearing? It's just my horse is having a hard time, you know, waking up. I, I is think he getting, is he getting jumped yeah, he, by he, an he angry mob? He walked into the tower. Slept, yeah, is, there a, is there a mob so of angry horses? Can't quite yeah, boy took over the... Horse? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely can. What kind of debt collector did your horse get itself roped into? <sighs> Very good question. We borrowed too many bales of hay this week, bucko. Bucko. Don't say that fucking word. What? Bucko? Bales of hay, Speedy. Come on. Borrow? What? You have to be specific. Bucko. Why? I just want to fucking oh. shirt you. <laughs> I don't understand. Hello? Oh. Listen oh, okay. here, bucko. Whoa, whoa, I thought that he was right next to us for a moment, unironically. That's really good. He's still in a coma? I don't know. Man, it's always Speedy's fucking horse. Dude. I'm not even gonna bother telling him. Cause he ain't like it when you tell him, man. He loves the, he loves this fucking shit for some reason. All right, so if Lost sees us, yeah, we got we got we got what five. So we should be all right. Jump? No, we can't jump. We're not well enough to do that. Did I see you right here, my chat? I thought I saw you on the server before. Like, you, 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 did you end your stream? I mean, you must have been streaming really early. Is he going to recover from his injuries? Yes. I'm back at work tomorrow. Gotcha. Gotcha. I 
wonder how Luna's going. Sarah, can you give us an update? You've got five now, but knowing your gang, you'll have two once you get there and others will be in roads. You're not actually inaccurate with that. <laughs> they definitely do that. The thing is, if Law sees us injured, they might put the dots together that he got injured at Valentine. So that's evidence that Law can use against us. We're gonna go to the slaughterhouse, see if I've got any money hidden away. I don't think I do though. Wallaby, I usually just bank every dollar we make into the gang bank. I don't really carry much on Wallaby at all. Send an update on Discord. Gotcha. was like two days ago. So? Was that going to do with anything? Okay. There's a law presence in St. Denis. Question, if you board a boat, oh sorry, you board the Gwarma ship, is it actually driving there or does it teleport you? It's, it's, yeah, it teleports, man. It teleports. It's dangerous coming here, but we should be good for just a couple minutes. Hopefully I got some money stored away I can use. If not, I might need to borrow some money. So I don't think floods about. Oh, I got an update video. Sarah's giving me a video. You guys want to see it? Let's see what Luna's up to. Let's see what Luna's up to. <laughs> well, she's up. She's very active right now, guys. Very active. <laughs> yep. They're, they're, that's, that's it. There she is, man. And and this is her. This is her at full pace, by the way, guys. Full pace. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Very good. Very good. A lunar remote. <sighs> you know what we should do? We should do like a, a lunar remote and make that our resident sleeper remote. Bucks. Okay, well that'll cover the fucking trip back. That's good. I knew I didn't have much here. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, Potato Saurus Rex. Let me open the door. It's getting a little warm in here. Get a little toasty. Alright. 
You gotta speak the flood. Yeah, well, flood ain't about man. I I, I know Van Tilly's. He had COVID, so. Um. I don't know if he's still recovering from that. We'll see. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I'm just watching the stream you did with Moon recently. Absolutely classic. Yeah, I had fun, man. The last 30 minutes was really rough, though. Did you guys... Did, wait a minute. Did they change the prediction? Did my mod change the prediction around? Oh, gosh. Jesus Christ. Coming in to make sure I didn't fall on the stairs or something. Oh, I'm all right. I only had $50, so return ticker. Yeah, right. The last one was a pole. Ah. Hey. Where's my horse? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I'm going to have to borrow uh, 250 off someone. Small loan, man. Small loan, please. I got to go to the bank anyway. <laughs> I gotta go to the bank. Oh, let's go, Rhodes. I f man, Scout's horse. I'll meet you guys in Rhodes. I'm gonna cut this beard off real quick. Alright, be careful. That makes me nervous. Dude, look. Can we just up. all go with him? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Guys, you think there's lore up here? There's been... I've noticed there's been an influx of lore at early hours. I tune into uh, Smoky Have Stream... Have seen Pete lately? No. Nah. I uh, tuned into Smoky Stream the other day. And he Hope was on like... Locked up. Like, earlier than now. And it was like fucking 10 lore in roads. No, he would have telegrammed us if he did. I don't know if he did. What if he got in solitary though, you know? Yeah, if he done something. He's not the kind of person to be thrown in solitaire. I know, but something sometimes accidents happen, even like clerically. Well, Peaches would let me know that he's there. Hmm, true. Why do you think about these things? Eddie's over there in his own world. So the thing is this, if Law are in town here and anything happens, they can engage with more than six in town. That's what's scary. That's what's scary, man. And what's even scary is that right is not in the fucking mix, which means they're going to be more efficient in fighting, which really sucks for us. A lot of horses. Turn left. Turn left. Fucking I don't know what I just heard, but it was a lot. You hear that? No. I think you're hearing things. I might be. Yeah, there's no horses. I made this thing. Dave's I'm sorry, right? Of course. Hey, Eddie, you got any spare money? I got nothing. You got I nothing got stored away? I gave it all to Flood. Alright. Fuck, let me just check if Flood's here. I doubt he's here, but let's check. when law riding six deep man flawed thank god he's not here I, I opened up the side door he always hates it when I do that you have a spare $300 or 250 yeah I do I do come on 
Let's go, man. We're you know the deal, though. Another one of the spoils of war, like that shotgun. Whenever, uh, whenever we get a spare one. What are you talking about, a pump? Okay. No, no, no. Just like any gun that we get to pay me back, you know? Right, right. Because I know right. that money's not really fluid. That's fine. You said 250 or 300? 350, 350 will cover. I got enough for the return. Yeah, right. You don't want any <laughs> spending change? You don't want to go to the, go to the oh, stores? No, I'll let you hold on to it. It's fine. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> all right. How Fucking much do I need? 300. All right. I have water. I do. We good, man. Uh, I got. No, I got. I got a steak. So we good to go, man. Wait, I've never been. We've never been this close to going to Guama. Actually, I guess we did last time. We almost went to Guama, but this time it's it's happening. It's happening, man. Unless law stop us right now, we're going to Guama. Here's the thing, Scout doesn't know where to re-meet us, he just said, I'll meet you. So, maybe we go back to the he's slaughterhouse? Right, he's right there. Huh? This is the fourth time we try to hope so. Now, I, I don't know what to expect at all. I have no idea what to expect. The Lord never shot with Wallaby. Are you crazy? <laughs> How many times have we been chased out of towns, man? So many times. What are you talking about? You just pissed because you voted law, man. Actually, I don't know if you did or not. How are we? Ah, it's got floor. Okay. I just got a fucking Guama. Stops on the way. No, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right. You've been moving much at all outside that fort? Just to check the telegrams, I think. Walked into a strawberry last night. It was empty when I walked in. I was selling things, and uh, I swear it had to be ten of them. Ten law, maybe it was four rangers, six law, I don't know, but I walked into town, and I, <laughs> they were like water being poured all over me. I had to walk straight through, I just hope to God none of them recognized me, and they didn't. I was shocked they didn't. <laughs> I didn't even have a hat on or anything. Just, I think it was all new ones, so they didn't know me by my face. Some of them looked like right at me too, like like right in my face, like I saw that we made eye contact. Man, I, I don't know what to expect in Guam, I'm fucking hot, man. knocking at the fort, right? No. There was one fella that showed up yesterday. 
stopped right in front of the, the gates. Saw that we were looking at him, and then he took off. Hmm. Wasn't yeah, long. Probably though. just, uh, probably just exploring. Yeah. Y'all ever do that? Just, just ride around, look for things. Every, all the people that voted for uh, Siska are all hoping that Lord just rock Sometimes up right I'll now. Sometimes I'll cigarettes that Pete gave me. <laughs> it could happen. Now just ride. They so will be, weird. They will hear us ride past the that. office from here. I think. Found this uh, newbie train conductor one time just sitting at a rig station or whatever, the one over top of Brackus. It was just the weirdest thing ever. And then a train came, and then, you know, I was able to get on a train. And it's weird how the world works, you know, small like that. All from wandering. Thank God, I'm away from this fucking horse. No. Down like this, but... You're out in the corner, there's a Gatling gun that'd be sick. All right, let's go. Where's Rufio? Rufio died a long time ago, man. He's been dead. I'm still surprised that law don't check the fort, dude. They know I. Fuck. They know that we go up there. I've completely fucking crashed. Like they're aware that that's a a, a hideout spot for us because I remember when I was playing Boyd, uh, I did check out the DEG file just to see what like what they have written up because I want that meta. Um, <laughs> nah, I was just curious, but. Um, they had, like, the fort marked as a potential place where DEG go to, like, hide out. But they never come up and check after robberies. It blows my mind. Crazy. We get lucky, dude. Law just ain't thorough sometimes, man. What can I say? What can I say? They're scared? I don't think they're scared. They just... I guess they just don't read the file. Irelev, thank you for the two-month resub, my dude. Welcome back. Thank you for supporting the stream. They don't have people like Boyd who are diligent with paperwork. Wow. That is... Uh... <laughs> Very good, man. Very good. <laughs> they checked the time you caught the lighthouse. Well, I didn't know they checked the, the fort, to be honest with you. That makes it even worse. Why wouldn't they check after these two bank robberies? Ah, oh, you fucking cunt. I got no horse. There it is. No, there it is. Come here. There you are. Come over here. Looks like we all crashed, maybe? Or maybe not. Okay. And was? Yeah. Did I crash? Did, did I fall the... Oh, God. Law dogs, get him. Oh, fuck, man. Not happening, man. We're making our way to Annisburg. But then again, we've got to wait for the boat as well. So we're not safe until we're out. What was Peaches arrested for? Uh, Blackwater bank robbery, hostage taking... Of an LEO, I think, and probably the uh, robbery of the sheriff's office in Rhodes. That's another charge that we're going to get as well. That one for sure. 
But I don't, I don't know. I think we might get out of the two bank robberies. There you go. You want to know <coughs> Well, three. <coughs> We've done three bank robberies in a row without yeah. being identified. One of my business exploits is the Flint market. I am, I'm heavily invested. He's heavily invested right. in the Flint market. Right. So in that market just then, whenever he saw me, I hopped off my heart. We were waiting for a moment. Grabbed a couple of sticks. In essence, I made $30. Isn't that small? If I wanted to kidnap Big L, it'd be easy, man. I have strategies. <coughs> Wolf has got no reason to take Big L, though. Is Goose buried? No, I think they, I think they said they're going to do it after New Year. Known for a month of solitary? No. Wallaby, Wallaby, the character at its core, uh, doesn't take like law or guards, like what they do personal, unless they make it personal. See the Ruth thing, Ruth made it personal, right? Malone has made it personal. When it comes to like them doing their job, he's not like someone's gonna be like, oh, you arrested me, I'm gonna kill you now. Or you put me in solitary because of this, 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 so I'm gonna get you. Like it's. Not, that's not what the character is. Now, if Big L said something to rub in, like, if he, if he started talking shit and making it personal, that's a different situation. But just for doing his job? No. I want Wallaby to get a hold of a Gatling gun. Oh, that'd be the dream. <laughs> Big L makes everything personal. Uh, not particularly. Big L's not as mean as you think. Booker is mean. Big L's, Big L's a fucking puppy dog next to Booker. Let's be honest. Man, crime fog coming in clutch. The book would be even easier to kidnap. You like the wiggly mode? Thank you, man. I've, I've got a few other ones being made. I've got a whistle, a, a wallaby whistle animated emote getting made. Should be cool. There's horses. Huh. Some might be here leaving as well. Dressed first. We have to dress as hot. Oh, the timing on the music though. Gormer outfit? No, I'm not gonna wear the Gormer outfit. I'm gonna wear. Actually, I'm, I might wear the one that the Wiggly Moat's wearing. The good old blue and black. I think it's a good look. <clears throat> no, I'm not taking a box now. What about a coffee moat? I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Go with that one. We yeah, we'll go with this one. This is the one I'm wearing. This is the one he's wearing in the uh the emote. So I think we'll wear this over. Looking good. Never been. I don't know nothing about Gorma. Alright. 
Yeah, and you can get bananas here, so I don't think... Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can get bananas. Uh, I sent a telegram probably to Peaches. Let them know that we're going to Guama. We're going to switch to Guama. It's going to be cool over there. Oh, sorry, hot over there, right? I don't think... I have no idea what it looks like over there at the moment. Goldie, I need ya to telegram me. Fuck. <sighs> She's in fucking armadillo. <sighs> what do I do? Let's, uh, let's telegram Goldie. Contacts. Goldie. Wallaby. About to leave for Guama. Is everything okay? If you like, you can come up to Annisburg. I won't leave till I hear back from you. Everyone that's bet on Guama is now shitting them, shitting themselves, man. Four. Leave for Guama. Thank you. Okay. Let me wait. Wait to hear back from her. Peaches? Well, I'm not going to tell her about Peaches yet until I know what I'm doing. Because Goldie might be like, have to talk to you. Someone someone that you like is dead. Emergency. Come out west or something. I'm not going to tell Peaches that I'm leaving if we're not leaving. i got to know for sure. Let's see when the boat goes. Saved. Goddamn Goldie, man. Something always, something always comes up, man. As soon as we get about to leave for Guama, every time. My points. Let's see where. Let's see how long. Let's see how long we got the. Got to wait for this fucking boat. Just so we get an idea. It's every fifteen minutes, right? Is it fifteen? Listen, she might not, it might not be an emergency. Just, just hold on, let's see what this is. 12 minutes. 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. Let's buy some tickets. Tickets. <clears throat> hey, they gotta take a quick ride. They have it <laughs> the wrong horse. That's all right. Uh, I I'm gonna I gotta, run over there because I gotta grab something for my horse as well. Do you need anything? Oh, uh, I got a telegram from Goldie, so we're gonna wait here. Okay. Goldie wants Goldie. to talk to me. I don't know if she's gonna come up here or not. I'm waiting for her to, to reply before I decide if we're gonna leave or not. About 12 minutes anyway, so we got time. She seemed to really want to talk. Did you get your tickets? Yep. All right. Don't forget that girl abandoned us. What do you mean she abandoned us? Keep that fun. I don't think it's quite that simple. Oh, yeah. I like how the tidy moat looks like it's the, uh, 
hand over holster emote <laughs> when you walk clap junior thank you for the three month resub my dude thank you for supporting the stream I prefer six Smokey. He sounds more rugged and badass. Let me let me oh, let me tell him that man. That he sounds cooler when he's sick. If law shows up, <laughs> that'd be some funny shit. It's 1902 now, yes. Yeah. I missed the fireworks this year. I was uh, busy. The gang is already 10, so if Goldie wants to come back, it's going to be awkward. The fact she's in Armadillo tells me that she doesn't plan on coming back. The first thing she did was head, she, she went out west. That's the first thing she did when she came back, which says a lot. I'm fucking... Okay, telegram. I mostly need to know you were alive, considering I got a very passionate telegram from Peaches saying you might be dead. Then Speedy said that you were shot and Dakota did a shitty stitch up job. I'm heading out to Guama anyways to meet Mill, so I'll try to find you over there. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Some things just work, guys. Some things just work. All right. How we got? Is anyone keeping track on that clock? Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thank you, man. Keep up the amazing content, Burrs. Thank you, Todd Here's Hunter. To another great year. Hell yeah, man. Oh, no, that wasn't Todd Hunter. That was Beast and Zombie. They were 17 months and then Todd Hunter with a 10. Thank you, guys. Back-to-back -back resubs. Hell yeah, man. You're Peaches? so good at what you do, Oh, Burrs. fuck me. I, I hope gotta... you get rich <sighs> from this one day. All right. Uh, we're going to be taking the next boat. I think it's like maybe eight minutes away. Okay. Do you need medicine or anything? No, no, I'm fine. I've, I've got bandages and shit. Yeah, so do I. So do I. Alright. Neck minute. Law rides up eight deep. That'd be fucking hilarious, man. That would be hilarious. Feeling a little better today. We are heading out to Guama. To get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. I 
will keep you updated. Stay strong, Wallaby. What are you, what are you freaking out about, fish? What are you freaking out about? Jackson, thank you for 17 months, dude. We're almost there, guys. I think we're like five minutes away from finally after three. It's been three months, right? It might be even more than three months. I think it's three. After three months, Wallaby's finally about to go to Guama. It's probably a good thing we waited this long, dude. It's, it's given it time to develop it's, to Giant be its own thing. dial that you put on the face of the sun to read what time of the day it is. Right. You read enough stars, you can see the future. Yeah. Lovely. Now I've got 30 bandages and three med bags. <laughs> I have 30 bandages as well. Four and a half. All right, we got four minutes. Make your way to the bar. Let's go. Goldie's going to meet us over there. He, he sounds so sick, man. He sounds like a man. He sounds like a man. Cigarettes, man, they helping me out real good. <laughs> New cup, new stuff. Got a little touch of the good stuff in it too. I, I no, I don't, I don't smoke. Right? No, I know you, I know you I haven't touched that stuff. stuff. No, 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 no. I know you haven't touched that stuff. No, 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 no. I know you, you don't like that. Like stuff. a I different fucking person. I don't ever want to touch her. Well, I'm just dealing with a little bit of a cold. Right, right. But these cigarettes are helping me through I, it. I, uh, if they're normal cigarettes, I'll take it. If they're not, I don't want it. I know you swore off the bad stuff. And there wasn't even no bad stuff. We had our fun. What did they do? These are, these are the good stuff. These are the good stuff. New company. New company. It ain't can't no type of carry thing. too much. We only got to carry these two. All right. A little smoke in there. Long trip ahead. Hickory choice. Rolled cigarettes. The fuck? Oh, I have when we got over there. All right, here we go. No crashing, no crashing, no crashing, no crashing. No crashing. The EG, about to go to Guama for the first time, man. Holy shit. Two minutes. Oh boy. It's about to actually fucking happen. It's about to go down, man. What if we go there and there's no one around? What if there's no one around? Oh man. This is nervous. Law now. Dude, if Law shut up now, bro, we'd have to have a shootout and hold the boat for a minute. <laughs> What? We just don't know it yet. What are you talking about? You know, we've been real lucky these past couple of weeks. No, it's nothing to do with luck. Everything works out according to plan. 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 Plans for a fucking reason. I put the plans together. It doesn't have no plan. You know what? It's pure luck. Luck. Right. It was like it was a, it was a higher purpose or something. Now we're on this boat and now we got another purpose to go to Gorma. 
Yeah, you really, think about that? Yeah, you really choose a really good day to start smoking these cigarettes. It's not the cigarettes, man. I'm just asking you. I'm talking to you. Why you ain't you? somehow are sounding worse every time you speak. Are you sure you're okay? I, I have established with you that I'm not 100%. I have a bit of a cold. Hang but uh, give me a few days and a cup of soup and I'll be right as well, rain. But when I'm speaking, right, what I'm right. saying is serious stuff. Yeah, you're saying that we it was a fucking fluke when it's not. Now, anyway, we're about to fucking leave, so. I'm just talking about the, whatever. The heat. You need some fucking heat. Bury your hand. Bury your head. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Oh, God, they're close to me. Speedy, Holy. if you said Bon Voyage and then the boat sank and that was the last thing I ever heard, I'd be mighty upset. It would have been beautiful. Poetic, even. Oh, God, we've been welcomed. She hasn't said welcome yet. You don't know. I know, but she's like, of course, the welcome center. Hello, Hello. man. We'll take five rooms. Yep. Speedy, please. I'm sorry. Sorry, what'd you say? How are we doing? Are, are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm just a little fucking tired. It was a long trip over here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, is there anything? Right. Are you sure you're okay? Can yeah. He has a, a, a brain twitch ignore I'm good, him behind I'm good. us. It's my first time over here. Okay, um, well, I'm a medic, so if you do need any, any help, just let I me know. My um, well. what's, uh... Everybody's name. They call me the Wallaby Kid. Oh, I actually ran into you not too long ago in the oh. crossing. Oh, wow. Lovely to see you again. <laughs> Lovely to see you too. My name's Josie. Pleasure. Wait. Hello, Wait. Josie. Josie? Uh, hello. You're not the blonde Josie. You're no. Black. no, no, no. Speedy, are you blind? I know, but no. okay. She sounds like blonde Josie too. Oh really? Scared. Hi, I'm a little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay. Play different sides of the world, though. Interesting. All right, all right. So we have the Wallaby Kid, and then we have who? I'm Dakota. I'm Scout. Hey, Speedy. Nice to meet you. John. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. John. Well, yeah. um. Yeah. Let me ask a question. Of course, go for it. Your first time here, which? direction do you advise we walk um uh, well i mean are you looking for anything in particular or we're gonna get to know just... people okay well if you want to get to know people then i suggest the village which is right behind me not the ruins but it's on up the hill a little bit all right so this road to the left then uh well actually you're gonna get to meet two of the militia right now oh the one on the right is Jasmine, and the well, they're changing places. What do you Jasmine? hear? What do you say? Hey, Jay, this is the Wallaby Kid. Hola, welcome to Gorma. Oh, thank you. Lovely to meet you. These are my friends Speedy Scout, Dakota, and John. How do you? <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Already lined to a man. Already so it's lined. a great place. It's looking awesome. I've never been here before. I've been close. Outlying islands, but... You guys have lions? No. God damn it. None that I've seen. We do have yeah, panthers, right. though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Equally as dangerous. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's dying. Well, this is our first time here, so... I, I don't know exactly where to go, but I'm looking to meet... You know, people. Uh, I'll just get to know right. the community. So, if you... uh, there's a few of uh, us in the community, I guess, uh, up at the village. Uh, we could show you where that is. That would be lovely. We'd love to go to the village, right? Right. Oh, yeah. I love villages. Yeah. All right, off we go. Off we go. Down mm -hmm. there. 
Just keep walking. Maybe Speedy won't follow. Fuck you! <laughs> Don't think you were whispering that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit, Gwarma, boys! I wonder if this... I, now that the dictator's gone, I wonder if there is aggressive or not it's hard to tell because they seem nice but you never know with these people man they could turn us in a dime it's really beautiful out here hey out well i don't know what, what, what was the actual bet they're not really talking a fucking village I'll tell you what, though, it's nice to be out of the snow. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Hey, tell me. Nice. You know my friend Mills at all? Yeah, he's, uh, somewhere around. I saw him pretty recently, like 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. How's he doing out here? Uh... I think he came in a little banged up, but I, I think he's doing a little bit better today. He looked like he was in better shape. What the fuck Last is time that? I saw Mills what? and Alice, I shot both oh, of them probably down. probably an iguana. There's a lot of those. Also a lot of snakes. You should probably look out for those too. Maybe they do. It's kind of like, this place is kind of like Jamaica. Is it? I don't fucking know, man. It's like Kong Skull Island over here. Oh, the village. Good, oh my god, there's too many people over there. Oh no! This is. Oh, there's too many people, man. That's a Love lot of people. Doses. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Anything ha Anything happens, I take the one on the right. Wow. Welcome party. What, the hillbilly? Sure. <laughs> yeah, they are both Look at these two. Hello there. What do you hear? What do you say? Holy shit. How the hell are you? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Herbie? Mm hmm. Uh, the, yes, Ambassador Commander Herbie of the pe People's Militia of Guana. Sorry, what's the title again? The ambassador commander. <laughs> no shit. I was the ambassador, <laughs> but then I became a member of the militia. Now I'm the ambassador commander. Oh, fuck. What happened to what's his face? He's gone. Lovely. Mm-hmm. That's really all that we need to know. Adios. <laughs> they are rumors, yeah. but... Aiden, sweetie. Yeah, well, this is my first time here. It's, uh... Pleasantly warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The volcano's not erupting anymore. That was a problem about a month ago, so it's a point for mm -hmm. time. But have a seat. Come to the fire. Welcome to Aguas Dulces. Oh, of course. Of lost course. So yeah, much yeah you look a little worse for wear. Who we got here? Is that a... so skinny. All right, then. Howdy. Hello, hello. Don't look too well, howdy, motherfucker. Howdy. 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 Yeah, we did a little job that went south. I see. That happens. Come on, grab us. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the big play and take this fucking seat There's right more here. people on the island now. Yeah, certain times. There you go. You said who? Yeah, we just got oh, these chairs. Excuse me, sir. Heads up to everybody. Uh, yeah. Don't get bit by snakes. You'll die. Hello. <laughs> yep. Good to yeah. know. Uh, we have uh, exhausted Hello? our current supply of anti venom, so. You gotta give us a, a little bit. Oh, you look break. snazzy. Had a lot of snake bites the last few days. How about you, Mel? I heard you came Best in a little bit scenario, beat up. Kill you are right. Let, nice let, let me sit over there next to you. Are you alright? Yeah. Or maybe not. The worst for wear. I'll pull through. I'll just sit over here. I don't like I don't like wooden chairs, anyways. Right, right, right. How you doing? What's new? Look at this place. 
I was a little worse uh, for wear, but howdy, howdy. I made it out here. We gunned down six deputies in a bank job. Oh, oh. Is out, mate. Oh, yeah, well, try seven. <laughs> Let's check this door. You're always trying to one up me, huh? You make it too easy. You give me a fucking break. <laughs> So this is the famous Guama. That's right. Can you hear me? Um, yeah. So what's going on here? Well, I figure if you want, you finally got around to reading through this map they give you in the folder here. Is this how you got? Cartography or whatever the fuck the word is. Get yourself uh, cartographied. Yeah. Inclined with the people around here. Make yourself know. There more out there. Let them know who you are. Oh yeah. There's I have a fort. Huh. Plenty. An interesting I'm job. The and everything wrote down on the map. On the west side of town. We'll talk oh, more wow. there. It goes, huh? Yeah, of course. Away from uh, everyone else. Yeah. So, what do you all do here in Guam, huh? A whole lot of shit. Well, I'm talking about the... I mean, do you live here now? Not everyone at once. I live here. Uh, I work as a medic. Alright, alright. Special treat. For our visitors, I don't know if you've ever had it before, but if you Ooh. have, it's probably been crap because this was I made very freshly. It is, is Guam and rum, specifically El Presidente brand of rum. Not the finest, but pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to just take some at your convenience. It hits pretty hard. Yeah, so we appreciate careful. that. Thank you very much. You of are course, of happily. course. You just rest so up kind. and then we'll give you the. We'll give you the grand tour. There's something about these Happily. people being nice that isn't Holy so fuck. nice. I don't know why. Looks crazy. Did you grab him? Oh, there you go. I did. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, yeah, that shit hit, bro. Mm -hmm. How was that? Yeah, that shit hit right there. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, how you feel? Mediocre, oh, best. Yeah, I've double had double good. malts better. Yeah, I didn't taste it. I'm just sussing him out, man. What a man, who is that, Eddie? He's fucked up. Is he not gonna run? Yeah, it's Eddie. What's good there, motherfucker? Oh, ain't much. What's good with you? Well, now that we man. lied. Hey! DBR, thank you for 26 Still months, man. Ugly, you looking big, out for, man. bald-headed motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker, I know you ain't talking to that head what? off for a second, man. What you what? got under there, man? You ain't gonna do nothing. Let me see that, let me see that real quick. Get your shirt his ass down. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. This is going to be what? a world championship in two weeks. I hope you're going to be there for it. Of where? Here? Of the of world champion, motherfucker. The world. It's going to be held over here. But this week, there's going to be a championship fight between the West. Now check out this place. Suss it out. Those pigs? Yeah, we met the Guama. There's a lot of people here. I'm just trying to figure out the situation here. Because this is not the situation we were expecting because they had a dictator here that's now gone it seems like herbie might be the most powerful person here which is crazy to think about but it actually could work really good for us because we have a past relationship with herbie look at that though dude look at this look at that 
So if talk to people, they don't walk away. Oh. Quite the view, huh? Yeah, it's uh different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Certainly is. You ever seen a place like this before? No. Not like this. Yeah, well, uh not sure what brought you here, but while you're here, just try to relax and enjoy it. It's it's been very peaceful for some time here ever since uh Real Vasquez left. Things are going well, things are growing. Yeah, I was expecting to talk to this Vasquez fella. I, uh, as you know, well, maybe you don't, but things have changed for me in the crossing. Well, I'm, uh, very sorry to hear about Missy. We heard about that. Don't worry about the gunshots. It's a regular thing. Yeah. Yeah, she is best. Well, I can't, well, I, I am, it is, it is very good to see you. I mean that sincerely. Uh, and there's probably plenty to talk about, actually. You'd be a very good person to talk about one of the things I realize that, that uh, we need. But um, there's one thing, and I hate to bring this up with you right away, but you need to know. And, uh, and I don't know all the full details, but uh, LJ is here. He is, I know some stuff happened with you guys. He is uh, living here, and he uh, is starting a community, and he's going to help out the island. I just wanted to warn you, all right? <laughs> oh. oh, I understand. Okay. Thank you. That's all. I just wanted to make you prepared so it didn't. he just didn't turn a corner and, it, you know. Wow. It sounds like you got the best of him in the end, whatever problem you had, so... I won't have any problem with LJ. He is dead to me. Well, all right. Well, I'll... For the interest of uh, this island, I will try to make sure he doesn't want to do anything with you either. Now, uh, that being said... You take whatever time you need to take in the uh, view here, and then I'll grab you and your friends, and we'll uh, give you a little bit of rundown, if you like, about what's been going on here. That would be... That would be fantastic. Great, I great. I have a lot to run down with you, too, in regards well, to you're why i out here. Because the Minister of Trade is here, and she's oh. in high demand these days. So we'll, uh, we can bring you up to the compound, and we'll all have a chat. That would be... Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, uh, oh, this is, uh, you met the Minister of Justice here, JJ, right? Yes. All right. Well, when you're ready, we'll be back down at the, at the, at the town. Of course. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay. Minister of Trade. Perfect. Perfect. We need to lock in exclusive gun deal, man. We need to lock in the gun deal, bro. Ugh, fucking LJ's here. Of course he is. Of course he is. Didn't Fluttery have a gun deal? Flood had something? Mm -hmm. But that was with... That was with the dictator. Which... Makes it null and void now, right? <clears throat> Interesting. So he's bringing his hippie commune out here now. <laughs> this could be a problem, though. This could be a problem because if he gets, if he's really tight with the people out here, he could fuck with our deal. The goal, ultimately, is going to be. to bring law guns out here and sell them at uh, pretty much retail price. So, what's a Lancaster sell for again? 
Is it 400? It's 400, right? Or 350? 350. So, a cars is worth 350. However, law guns only sell for about 150 because of the, the heat you get for owning it. However, it's not illegal to have those guns out here. So I could bring them out here and sell for 350 or 400 a law gun. So we can we can sell non-law guns to the crossing and then law guns to Guarma to make a big profit. That's what I'm thinking. Where'd Mills go? All right. Uh, well, we're going to give you a little bit of the rundown of what's going on here. I think Speedy walked off with the marquee, but that's fine. I've known Speedy a long time, so fuck him. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the town of Aguas Dulces, um, it's Spanish for Sweetwater. At some point uh, after the disappearance of, of uh, Vasquez, uh, we decided to kind of get as many people to move in here as possible. So this is currently the most active place on the island. Uh, it has a mayor, Mayor Benjamin Gaines. He'll probably be around in a little bit. That's definitely That's somebody you want to talk to as well. Mm -hmm. uh, write this your down. friend Mills is uh, starting a community over at that castle slash fort, which was called Cinco Torres, but maybe they'll rename it. And then, as I just mentioned to uh, uh, Wallaby here, um, a third community is starting to form in the way, way north of the island, a long, long way from here, by a man named LJ. Uh, that woman over there is a member of this community. <clears throat> Jar Jar. Well, look who it be. Long time no say. How's warmer trading you? Uh, it's nice and cozy here. It's warm. Ain't seen any, ain't seen any jaguars, but seen a lot of like bones and shit. Oh, I hear that. LJ is building something out here. Man, you heard that pretty fucking quick. Where is he? Well, I told him. What the Other hell am way. I gonna do? Not tell him? <laughs> no, no, that's fair, Mister Irby. Where is he? Uh, he's sleeping right now. He went to oh. bed. Where is this commune? Oh, did you not? Did you not say, Mister Herbie? Well, it's way, way in the north. We'll get there eventually. It's a long, long walk. As are, horses are not allowed on the island. Yeah. We have donkeys, but we have to be very careful. Few them. donkeys. Yeah. Yeah, we tend to the north. It's nice up there. How long has he been out here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, I ran into him for the first time the day before New Year's Eve. Ah, uh, well, I hope that uh, he's found peace out here. He seems pretty at peace. Oh. And I, I know that what we agreed, that obviously anything that happened, everything's all done. That, that's, that's still fair, because we are people of our word, right? No, it ain't. It was an agreement I made with Wallaby. Eddie. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm happy for him. It's good to see that he's found his paradise. How are you finding Gorma? Well, I just arrived, but I do appreciate the warmth. Not just the weather, but the people. Oh yeah, the people here are lovely. Have you met Jasmine? Delightful lady. I apologize, Herbie. I... No, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna head up to the compound right now. I think Jasmine's up there anyway, so we're gonna Lovely. Talk. That would be marvelous. Alright, you guys. Eddie, you two back there, we're gonna stroll up. Uh one thing, uh just so we're down here, just so you guys know. 
uh, we would like, please, and even if the goats attack you in this town, please do not kill any of the, the livestock in this town. Uh, there are a bunch of pigs down by the river. We'll show you that you can kill those all you want, but I need my my cheese and my milk. Can I slap a goat if it attacks edible? me? What's that? Can I eat the lizards? Yes, iguana yeah. stew right. is a is a nice delicacy. Can I slap the goats if they attack me? Uh, as long as you don't kill them. How say your name? Okay. Now I probably don't do it when other people are looking. Nor nor sounds good. Thank you for the three months. Right. I'm sorry I fucked up your name. All right, compound it is. All right. I see Eddie's as happy as ever. I am right happy, Herbie. I'm happy. To good to see you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm actually very happy to see you. It's been so long, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last you guys, time you saw guys. us, we were just little... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, you guys look uh, a lot more experienced. Yeah, I lost half. Now, uh, yeah, as you can that's see, one word. Uh, as you can see here, we have a shit ton of sugar cane. Feel free to pick all you like. Um, there are a few rules here. The first one, which we will break immediately, is uh, don't go into compound. You know, it's not there's not too much interest in going Unless on there now. Invited. Yeah, we're going to bring you in. This is where the militia stays. All right. So um, we don't go in there unless you're here. Yeah. To, all right. Yeah. Or someone tells you if, if someone said, please run in the comp, you know, please, could you go up there? All right. And then Commission first. Yeah. 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 Um, there's nothing too important here. Well, it's important, but this is it, sick. Guys. First, it was a test that several people failed immediately upon coming immediately. here. Immediately. You will never guess would be the Kettleman gang. We said, don't go in here. And we caught them three times. Pretty simple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course. It's not too surprising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the donkeys, be nice to the donkeys. Uh, bring them back when you're done and don't get them hurt. Uh, there's a woman in the militia called Maria who breeds them and she is very strong and has a machete and she will try to kill you if you hurt a donkey. Or chop fingers off. Speaking. Yes. Uh, the last one is just generally respect the land and the people in the oh, culture. This is cool, man. Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on the right is where we make the cane syrup. Um, we never went in here. The Minister of Trade has uh, made it illegal for any cane syrup to be brought off the island. This is the only place you can get cane syrup, and she's trying to protect the uh, the economy here. Right, if you right. look up on the hill over there, you will see uh, one of our uh, saloons. This one is called Omens, uh, run by a woman named Delilah. And if I may wet your whistle, uh, I did go inside. It's not something she likes spread around too much. But for those of you who might be looking to get some work of the bounty nature, uh, you would go up there and be very nice and be friends with Delilah. And you may find out that there are some people in the crossing who need a beating and you will get paid for it. <laughs> but we will go up right there then. later. Eddie instantly yeah, looks we have a whole there. thing now. I think there are three active bounties out right now. All right. Uh, we recently had a carpenter come by. Please come in and enjoy. Thank you very much. We didn't. We definitely didn't. Get, we didn't go inside last time. We just knocked on the door. Oh. That's this a is hole where there. we sleep. They got cages in if here. If you would like cage accommodations, we have many across the island. Get it. Very uh, very nice, Herbie. Very nice. Oh yeah. This is pretty, but the militia here knows how to do things. Is that your Dang. throne? Uh, that is the militia's throne. Oh. It just, my my butt imprint is the largest and the most comfortable, <laughs> but. Sure. Well, it looks lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, you've met Jasmine and JJ. Uh, I gave them the rundown. Uh, the only other thing to remember is, this is important. Uh, this is a land that has seen many revolts and rebellions and people coming and going and the militia wants to slow that down uh, so they're being a little strict so any act of aggression or violence that is coordinated in groups of more than four people will be considered an act of rebellion and will be treated with extreme uh, prejudice so you know 
keep it small if you have to kick somebody's ass. Of course. Mm-hmm. Right, that's about it. Have you explained the justice system? No, 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 no. But uh, uh, as the Minister of Justice, uh, JJ, if there's if you have a problem while on this island and you wish to settle it by court, uh, by you can uh, you can say you can demand a trial and we will set up a trial with a jury. That's right. Yeah. Sounds fair to me, and that's something yeah. we do ourselves. Excellent. I, we all appreciate the hospitality. This is quite the place. I, yes, and it's only growing. Yeah, uh, Jasmine is from Guarma. Uh, she, she grew up here and she has seen the, this place go through so many things. And now she's been a huge part of uh, making sure it grows and gets strong as, as she controls the port down there. If you have any questions about trade or what prices are or anything like that, she's the person to talk to. This lovely lady, how? Mm hmm. Wonderful. Wow. I uh, would be lying if I said I didn't come here to talk business. Of course. Since you've been gone from the crossing, I have been hard at work building my own thing we all have I hear through the grapevine that one thing that this lovely island lacks is quality firearms that's true I don't know you probably didn't stop at the gun store down there um but they, they only really have a supply of uh, carbines and cattlemen's, and they're quite expensive too. How much does it cost for those? It doesn't bear repeating. It's not <laughs> a price worth paying. Yeah, you'd fall <laughs> over if you saw the price. Wow. 60 bucks for a cattleman. I will say that you're looking at people that can provide you with quality and a lot of it. I specialize in firearms. No one in the crossing can provide what I can. Not even close. And what if I said I was looking for collector's items? Things that in Guarmar just fun to have, like, um... Maybe I want a train conductor's rifle. Wow. May I speak frank? Of course. In my line of work, one of the least profitable items would be that of a train conductor or a lawman. You see, they etch these weapons and no one in the crossing wants to pay for the extra heat, of course. Holding a lawman's rifle is illegal. I don't believe having a law or train weapon over here is. Of course not. Which, um... <laughs> no. Right. We're quite happy to have people running around with these. Right. So... With my line of work, I get my hands on a lot of these weapons. Now, why would I sell them in the crossing for a hundred dollars if I can ship out two or three boxes of Lancasters over here? Better money. Weapons that don't have popularity over there would be popular over here, no doubt etched or not etched it won't matter I can provide that Lancasters Navies Lichfelds and if you're really interested in 
exotic items. We can provide that too. Good. Now I'm sure I'd be willing to waive import-export fees um, for regular shipments, reliable shipments. I don't like people who come here and steal from me, you see. Sugarcane syrup is contraband for anybody. The last man, um, I believe that was selling us premium weapons, was also taking sugarcane syrup. What do you say? Um, his bounty's out, yes? Okay. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, a couple people have been notified that uh, he's that he uh, of his bounty. Yeah. May I ask who? Hey, you get down, Jasmine. It's your thing, right? I wouldn't want to step on any toes. No, no. You. I mean, they can't collect the bounty until they talk to Delilah. So you could tell him if you want. Like she's only just, give it. Um, she only give it to a couple of people. She won't just give it to anybody. A man named Mister Copperhead, and I'm sure you received a telegram in relation to another person who stole. Oh yeah, I think he might have been an associate of yours, Mister Morgan. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Would you be talking about Charles? That's right. That's the one. It's a petty fine, really, fifty dollars, but he had taken sugar cane syrup and that's been confirmed. Uh we have heard also from people who were in the crossing uh yesterday. Uh he claims his fine is bullshit and he'll never pay it, and uh other sort assorted uh claims. Well that's just As disrespectful. I you're no longer associated with Charles. Yes. No, we are. I can have a word with him. In it's fact, not a huge deal. It's just a petty fine, but... Well, we want to build up good faith. But yes, I'd be happy to waive fees for your imports and exports and make sure that my um, trade force enforcers don't check your boxes too closely. On the understanding that you give fair prices to the villages and communities here. What would you be considering fair? I know you can't hawk your marked weapons for as much as others, but of course here they're illegal. I mean, they're legal. I would expect a reasonable price, not too much marked up for those ones. Wow. Considering you're paying $60 for a cattleman. I wouldn't mind selling Lancaster for $375. I think I can get rifles from another source for $225. Same type. Unlocked. Yeah. A shipment every three months. No one deals guns like me. That much I can guarantee you. You can build we a fucking armory have... with me. You don't have too much of a reason for guns. Yes, the militia is not very interested um, in guns because we have plenty, but I know the villagers will want them. And there's three communities popping up really quickly. So mainly your business is with them. The only business you have with me is about your import-export fees. As long as people are buying, why does it bother me? I just want to make sure fair prices, you know? Of course, yeah. you have to pay for your trip. Your uh, stuff. So Mills, uh, the Benjamin I mentioned... And well, perhaps somebody else in your group could talk to LJ about supplying them because they're not gonna—they're gonna have a, huff, a tough time. <laughs> of course. I'm just telling you, there also will be. Uh, uh, there's a guy that's starting a security company that's gonna need a stockpile of guns. Uh, there will be other things. Uh, the militia will need a supply of handcuffs, so that could mm. probably be something you help us with as well. Yes. All right. Handcuffs and guns I can provide. Yeah. 
How much do you charge for handcuffs? Fair few dollars. Yeah, if you bring over, well, we'll decide it. We'll decide if we need a box or two. Uh, mm. But, you know, that could probably be a, like a monthly thing, even. If you're coming over with other stuff and you have them, we'll probably take it. And we could provide security at our docks, at least, for you. Yes, it is risky over in Annisburg. The law are very antsy. Well, um, do you know Julius Bradshaw? Can't say I do. I uh, used to go by to J. King. He owns the, the Blue Poil. Uh, but he, I don't know if he's still over here, but he was. He was talking to us about uh, establishing, a, he has a crew, establishing a presence in Annisburg to uh, assist people who might be coming back and forth who need a little bit of protection. But if he's around, we'll get his contact them information, but I'm sure you can handle yourself. I, I think there's someone here that sells guns I can never talk to. Oh, God. Jesus, I got here. God damn it. Here's Fuck. a little bit for the dog I helped you get lol. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. You said you had a, uh, someone that deals in weapons out here. That's every, everybody wants to sell us weapons. Yeah. No, no, no. Literally I'm, everyone. I'm what talking. I need is information. I'm, I'm talking about like you've got a, someone that sells to the people. A salesman. For example. The flood comes once a week. Wow. Right, but what if I sold in bulk to you at a marked down price and you can sell to the people yourself whatever the fuck you want to, you know, sell at? That way you control weapons on your own island. Well, that's a good idea. We come up with a middle ground so we make profit, both of us. I might make a little less doing it this way, but we build relations. I keep the guns flowing in. That sounds like something that uh, could be a good idea. We just have to discuss it with the other militia members, the def Minister of, of Defense and whatnot. Yeah, but that, that's a good thinking. That's a good thinking. Uh, also, if you guys uh, have things like gems and the like. They are discussing using that as the currency for the island, so there will be opportunity to sell quite a bit here. My uh, good friend over here specializes more in that. And if you want to have a little talk. All right. Well, something uh, yeah, I should have mentioned this when we were talking about the um, the general, you know, what the island's like since Vasquez. Uh, and this is something you guys will know, too. Uh, so as Jasmine said, the militia, we don't need so much stuff for ourselves, but that's why this is a good idea, so we can provide for people. But also, um, let's just say you got into a conflict with somebody here, right? And you went into the town down there and someone stole from you and you went in there and beat the shit out of them. As far as the militia's concerned, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Guarma is an island Militia's change, needs man. strong people. And it needs people who, when they build something, they well, have to protect it. So, if conflicts go on on the island, the militia's not going to get involved. Unless... It's really disturbing the forward progress of the island. Or, like I said, it's a larger group, and then they declare it as rebellion, and they squash it as soon as possible. Right, you are. So, just when you're here, if you know, if someone fucks with you for some reason, you know, fuck 
them back as, <laughs> as vigorously as you like. Fuck them back. Just don't drag fun. it out. That's oh, all yeah. I ask. Well, I think one thing you're fine with me is that I am a forward thinker. Good. You won't have any petty problems with me. Perfect. Yeah, great. So I think we can discuss the gun thing, right, Jasmine? We'll have to discuss. Sure. And you are interested in gems. Yes. I th- I th- yeah, and I think it, like every business, every group, every community here will be interested in gems too, because that's going to be the gems, kind of gold, thing. bonds, all these things. Yeah, all of it. Really? Yeah, they, we had a meeting last night. I, we talked to Mills. We talked to Ben. Uh, I'm sure LG will agree with whatever they say, but Mills is actually that was a big thing for him. Uh, and um, yeah, Jabass was here earlier. He's not going to live here, but he's trying to do business here as well. But he's on the island still. May I ask what you're buying gold for? It hasn't started yet. Just you're, you're in at the at the. This is you're coming as it's just about to start. So ground level. Mm-hmm. Lovely. All right. So. They actually, one of the things they need to do, we, I told them last night, is they need, the three of them need to get together and set a price it's for everything. Uh, ben probably, Ben from Agua We're going to have to, we have to hold some of our gold and shit, man. For now. Uh, he'll probably be around soon. I think we hoard all our stuff next few bank robberies, build up an inventory. All right. That sounds perfect. Great. I think we're all on the same page then. Yeah, and we'll have more ideas as you go. How long you plan on staying for? Not too long. I just wanted to get to know you. Know what I'm dealing with. That way I can uh, be more efficient. Knowing what you need and want. Yeah. And what your goals are. Well, you learn when you talk to more people on the island what people here need. Because there's plenty of stuff we can't get. You'll find this is um, a very strong community focused on um, letting people's paths heal and worrying about a, a better future. Right. You want to build something great and it can help along the way. You can both benefit them. Sure. Yeah, I'm and looking it's... for long-term like friendship. Look at him. That's great. And, just so clear, it's not all just this boring business stuff. Not only do we have, excuse me while I enter selling mode, not only do we have <laughs> bounties here that you could do in your spare time to make a little bit extra cash, have some fun, <laughs> but we have a death match coming up. That's right. A what? With two people will fight to the death in our arena. It's going to be very high-priced tickets. A very exclusive event. Yep. It's kind of an island tradition. It's kind of settling disputes uh, and other kind of things. There used to be sacrifices back in the day. Um, but there's going to be ceremonies. But two men will we, wait till you see our arena. It's on a cliff. It's great. We'll enter the arena, and only one of them will walk out alive. All right. Sounds and entertaining. Well, we're also going to have a fight that will determine the champion of the world. As Marquis and Amadeo are here, and they were talking about finding the champion of the crossing, as he was saying, and then <laughs> the champion of the crossing will fight the champion of Guarma before the death match. Tell him about the knife clown. And we're going to have a knife clown. Mm-hmm. Which is where everybody in the audience gets throwing knives, and the clown in the ring has to dodge them as people throw it. It's pretty fucked up. It's a little sadistic. But welcome to Guarma. Welcome to Guarma. Mm-hmm. All right, well. It's a, it's, it could be a dangerous place, but so far it's been pretty good. The only, what was the last poison that got shot here? Was it me? Was it the poison I shot? I think Possibly. So. Oh, wait. And that so, was a while ago when no, they got that woman bodies. Holly got stabbed, and then that Kills officer allowed, Benny yeah. got the shit beat out of him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and this I, is I, a I deceptively pushed James violent the place. shot him. Is that where he went? That was, that was months ago. Probably oh. deserved. More than likely. Oh, yeah. He was taunting me. I, he, I was like, I didn't kill him. He shot my friend who was a doctor because she called him a name. Oh, imagine of that. Of course. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway. Why don't we get you guys some food and stuff? And we'll, um... Oh, I actually want to invite you to something there, Wallaby, if, if you're, if you're, how do you have poker? Do you like poker? I'm not much of a gambling man, but I oh, right. enjoy the game. Well, our thing here is kind of high stakes, high rewards. And uh, unfortunately, I think you were in prison at the last poker game, uh, but the buy-in was like a very expensive gun. And that guy, Shay Murphy, uh, he won about $12,000 in money and guns. Mm, he was telling me about that. Yeah. So, we're planning a game for this coming Saturday, hopefully, if it comes together. And the buy-in is... People are, people are, are, are flinching at the buy-in, even very, very skillful people. Because the buy-in is your horse. Not a, not a horse. The buy-in is your horse. So, as people like Shay, who's very confident, flinched and then went on a whole story and told me his horse is worth $40,000, I said, you shouldn't have told me that. Don't tell other people that, because if they take your horse, they're going to try to sell it to you for $40,000. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, other people being invited. Jabass said he's in. Uh, Cesare is being invited. He already said he's interested. I'm hoping to get Sheriff Rabbit over here. We had Cash playing poker last time. Um, really? Tommy Two Snake. Well, we got to see if these people will agree to it. That's the thing. Horses, you know, people are very precious about their horse, and I sort of understand it. So we'll see. We'll let Aww. you know the invites are going out today, so it's good timing. Well, you can take my yeah. telegram so you can let me know when and where, as yep. well as how communication goes about what we spoke about. Yes, for sure. What's your telegram? We'll all write it down. Nutsack591. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Let's go back down to the village. You guys rest up. You look like you need to rest a little bit. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm the doctor. You look a little... You want someone to take a look at you? I might have to see someone. All right. We got... We got we... I recommend it. Much love. Just in case. Our medical uh, what do you guys think? department is just for but now. What do you guys think? We have... Uh... Oh, do you remember Amber from Rhodes? I know. Yeah, she's, uh, she's helping the medical department start here. Oh... Lovely. It's yeah, been a while. Yeah, yeah. She's a full doctor. Um, I think oh, Sunset yeah, Dead directly is the, is the best move. That way they control... Uh, that tower over there. They control the uh, there's guns. There's a ladder that goes down into... It's basically a mine shaft, and that goes out into the jungle. Just in case, like, if you accidentally go into there, there's a big hole to be careful of, but it will come out here. You'll, we'll show you that later when we go on a tour. We need to get you patched up so we can drag you around this island. I appreciate your kindness. No, no. Say, listen, anything that helps this place. Uh, if you hear gunshots, usually it's someone saying, hey, I'm here. Is anybody around? Uh -huh. But we did put in a target range recently uh, down at the front of town. So that's a little bit confusing. Makes sense. Yeah, we're going to uh, she was looking for you. Oh, all of you. Shut the fuck up. Ah, oh my god, where did you come Wait, from? Wait, I'm scared to attack you because I might hey. get shot. Hmm? No, you won't get shot. Where did oh, you yes, come from? You well, let's see. Today, I ventured all the way from Armadillo and I came here just to see you, Irby. <laughs> Bullshit. Holy yep. shit. It's a big ass. Just to say, hey, right. I thought you were coming to say, Mary. Oh, well, we'll deport her immediately. <laughs> Don't worry. It was a joke. <laughs> hey. Hey. Come here. Okay. Okay, where'd they get you? Uh, they got me in the hip. That's okay. okay, though. I've had worse. Yeah, we're gonna find a, a doctor to look at. Oh, it's meant for you. Anyway. Yeah, probably uh, sooner rather than later. It's meant for but you. Before yeah, we're I gonna go that, back to the town now. We could have a little talk band nice. here, if you want. Okay. It's been you a wanna, while. You guys want to have a chat here? Just walk down the road when you're done. We'll be in the town. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. All right. Irby? Yes, ma'am. This place is confusing as shit. Just letting you know, you should probably do something about that. Make some signs or Confusing how? I got lost three times. Did Listen, come I didn't design <laughs> this place, okay? Yeah, okay, but you're Next in charge now. Next time we build the road, I'll say to make it, you know, easy nah. for dummies to understand it, nah, okay? I know how to make it better, okay? 
Yeah. You know how? Hire me as your super manager. <laughs> I'm an ambassador commander. I'm not even a manager anymore. Look, I don't know. This place needs a super manager, RB. Nice hat. Like that guy with the feather. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm just following him. Oh, I was wondering where he's going. Hey. Hey. Where the fuck have you been? Uh, well. Since the last time we talked? Yeah. This place is so muddy. What? Doesn't matter. Okay. You start first. Oh, lots changed, yeah. You know? I can tell. You went through that puberty. Yeah, I guess that's one way of putting it. Is that why your voice is all that? Well, we all grow up, Goldie. I mean, yeah. Even me. Yeah. Are you okay, though? Holy shit, the bad Larry took 48 months. Yeah, I'm... I'm alive. Happy birthday, Despite Larry. my best efforts. <laughs> How about yourself? Going out west, I say. Yeah, Mark, he got married, the motherfucker. Right. Yeah, he got married to that Doc Morgan lady. So, I stayed out there after the wedding, then Mills and them robbed a bank, so... I came out to find Mills, I guess. Yeah. Had a co conversation with Speedy. Oh yeah? What you speak about? You. Good things, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. What was that supposed to mean? I don't know, trouble in paradise. Can't be more specific. I haven't been around the Wallaby. I know you haven't, but what you speak about? You know, stuff and things. Huh. Just stuff and things. I don't know. It... He seems like he ain't too happy, I guess, with the way that things are going. How so? Uh, maybe... This is something you should probably talk to him about. Or well, you could just tell me. I mean, I could. You brought it up. Well, okay, because that was the most recent conversation I had. What did he tell you? Well, okay, so basically what happened was, is you went and you brought in Dakota and Scout and Speedy had issues with Dakota and Scout and you still brought them in anyways because you didn't care. And then he came back and then apparently they were the ones that were after him in the first place. Also, by the way, I stabbed Scout before where I saw and I let it happen and then I made fun of him. Uh-huh. From what months, yeah. Hey... Left a few details out. Yeah, maybe. What? Speedy vanished. Oh he, no, he said that. He left. He didn't tell me where he was, what he was doing, whether he was alive. I assumed he was gone. Scout came to me asking for work. I gave him a job here and there. We ended up working well together, so I invited him in. And then... Speedy comes back. After three months. So I am... Deeply sorry I didn't ask his permission. Yeah, I guess, you know, he may have left out the length of time for, you know, him being gone. But I think, you know, I don't know. I think he feels like Maybe you don't care about him very much. 
Do me a favor. I want you to make me a promise. Okay. Never lead a gang. Ever. <laughs> Why? Juggling 10 people's expectations is fucked. Yeah, there's a reason why I never want to make Gold Gang from the very beginning, okay? Never do There it. is a reason. No matter how many times I scratch that dog behind the ears, he will still whimper in the corner. <laughs> Listen to Wallaby, okay? You know how many times people said, Wait, Goldie, why don't you just make your own gang? Blah, blah, blah. There's a reason that I will never touch that with anything. Too much effort. <laughs> so, what else is new between between uh, you and the West? What's going You're on? You're really pressing on the West, huh? Well, you sent me a telegraph from Armadillo, I assume. Yeah, okay, why don't you just ask me directly then? You, why, why are you focusing so much on the West? Are you, you trying uh, to figure out where I... Well, I think I already know where your loyalties lie. Yeah, where? Mouse and Alice. That's okay. I didn't expect you to come back. I'm just glad to see you're alive and well. Well, that's not true. Fully. Because... Mm. My loyalty still lies with you, you know? Or else I wouldn't be so concerned. But I did not come around for a long time. Because I realized, okay, that when my grandpa died, I felt guilty for not spending all that time with my family. You know, and I was out doing everything he said be careful about doing, right? Right. And I felt like things were getting better with you and, you know. Wow. Whatever was going on with the dead end kids at the time. And so I went out to the ranch to help my mom and pa because my, you know, my pa's dying. And then when I came back, you know, and I realized that uh, the whole thing happened with Missy. And uh, I realized this entire time I was so concerned with trying to take care of everyone else that it was really hard to take care of myself. And then I try to make someone that's dead happy, but he's already dead. And then I could have been here for Missy's death and... I miss M Missy's death, and so why am I trying to fix everything in the past without being in the present? Not sure if that makes sense, but I've been kind of feeling really guilty about it. And uh, I go back and I visit, uh, I visit the clubhouse all the time, all all the time, actually. I've probably been at the clubhouse more places than anywhere else. But I, I noticed that on the wall, it's the old dead end kids. And even though I wrote my name there, it, you know, things is different now, but. What are you mean? My name ain't on the wall. <laughs> Goldie. You're looking at the original carving. The new one, unfortunately, got destroyed. I don't know but what I happened wrote to it. it. There. Yeah, so did a lot of other people. Mo as With well. With a rock! Yeah, they're all fucking gone. You didn't carve deep enough. They eroded. Well, I ain't trained in that. You there's think I have a specialty in carving? On, no, there's two carvings on that wall. There's the original gang, the original dead end kids, and then there's the one that we did. The one that we did, with the one that you're on, isn't there. So you're telling me this entire time? I thought that you forgot about me, and no. I was never good enough for the original Why ones the because fuck we had. Why would I forget about you? Because we always had this conversation that I would never be good enough for to meet the expectations of you, your original you friends. You made that expectation on yourself. I've never held you to any expectation. You're my friend. I accept you for who you are. You know. 
I still ride around with that fucking worm. Good. Want another one? I have a few in my toes. No, I... One's enough. Point being... I've never thought that way about you. And I understand... Where your head's at. And I understand... With Mel's and Alice. I'm not upset about it. We're still friends, you know? I haven't made my decision. In yeah. fact, I, I was thinking about just being solo for a while. Oh, you need to do... What your heart tells you to do. Holy. For a long time since I've known you, you have tried to... Help others. As you said, it's time to maybe help yourself. No expectations. No trying to please others. Just be you. And you do what you want to do. And whatever that is, I know you'll be very fucking good at it. Because... A Goldie with her mind set on something is a terrifying thing for those that stand in the way. You are... Like a sister. To me. We grew up. Look after yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you really is like a brother to me, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry I ain't there for Missy. Listen. Neither was I. I was here, but I wasn't here. I wasn't there for her. When she needed me most. She knew I loved her. And she knew that you did too. Don't beat yourself up about it. it. It's hard not to beat myself up. She was my best friend and I ain't there for her. The one person I let down the most. You can't be everywhere and help everyone at once, Goldie. I should have tried harder. No. It's not on you. I miss her, sir. Yeah. So... I heard you got a whole new thing going on. Speedy says there's a whole bunch of new folk you're riding with. Yeah, it's, uh, it's different now. Dead End Kids was, well, my friends. I have a different approach now. Yeah, what's that? I had this dream leaving a bank. It was clear as day. I was in there doing a job with all my friends. You were there too. And we did the safes. When we came out, left the front doors, the law was standing there with a Gatling gun. And they shot us all down dead. Every one of us. And for a while after Missy passed, I... It 
Wallaby. Yes. We're gonna be uh, down in the town exploring. All right, I'll see you there. You, uh, all right. Also, Speedy might be dead. Yeah, already. What are you yeah, that ain't surprising. Uh, he jumped into the water and then rendered himself unconscious, <laughs> and ain't nobody could fish him out. Yep. That sounds about right for Speedy. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well. we'll so, anyways, we'll be in town out. exploring. Goodbye. Can I stab him for old time's sake? No. <sighs> you see my TV. I'm sorry. Shoot him? No, no, no. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We got shot up in front of the bank. And then I woke up. And I started planning how I could do that job. And get everyone out, but stay behind and die. I always said I'd die as in a blaze. And burn bright. And I wanted to... Get back to Messi. But as time has gone on... That's not what I want anymore. I'm building something, something big. And when I think we're ready, I'm gonna step away and take my cut, my share. And I wanna just run away to anywhere. I don't know, just pick a direction and run. No one knows I won't use the Wallaby Kid no more. I'll just be some geezer. And just live. You want to retire? I spent my life living out my brother's dream. And just like you, maybe it's about time I live out mine. I just need a little more time build up enough that when I take my cut that everyone's looked after. So the team that I have around me are the best people to help that happen. over there yeah looks like it you should go spend some time with them i've spent a lot of time with them over the last few days i came here to check on you i appreciate that i've missed your presence tell me you're still the best safe cracker in all the crossing. Why are you being all sentimental, you ass? I'm not. I'm just wondering if you want work. You know, I'm always ready for work. Okay, in. Yeah, I'm still the best safe cracker, even though apparently the Jade King is back. And you know that, you know, I heard Peaches is in your gang now. Blech. No, I don't. Blech. But anyways, uh, I'll be here for you because you're you and I'm happy that he has people around you. You misjudge her. Mm. 
Time has mm. moved on. Golding, a mm. lot has changed. The Wallaby. And no matter how long time has passed, I still have people coming back to me saying, Goldie, you was right. Every single day. All the time. Just you wait. One day you're going to come back to me and you're going to say, Goldie, you was right about this. But it's okay. Wow. We'll see about that. I'm gonna go get checked up. I don't feel so good. Okay. But yeah, send me a telegram if you ever need anything. Of course. And I still haven't made my decision, by the way. But. That's not a decision. You have your friend, that's it. Yeah. Ain't nothing written in star no more. Mm. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi, Goldie. How you doing, kid? Not feeling yeah. too great. I'm going to go see a doctor. Yeah, well, Herbie, let me know and I can take a look at you if you want. Yeah, it'd be great. You got shot? In the heck. Apparently, he let someone stitch him up and it ain't very good, Alice. Who was it? Dakota. Dakota. I don't know who that is. She used her fingers to get Mouth. the bullet out. Oh. Goldie. What is... What are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? It's hot! It is hot! Why do you think I took off wearing? my boots? What kind of fucking dumb hat is that? It's Miss Effie says we have to wear when you go adventuring. Okay, then that's fine. I felt like it was fitting for this adventure. Goldie, come over here. Okay. What? Well, you don't look too great. I need to get you somewhere you can sit down. I should probably get back to the village. Yeah, all right. What are you doing a job? Valentine set up uh, an ambush in town. We got out of there, but they, they clipped me. It doesn't look like it feels too great. I've had worse. I'll be fine. Of course you will be. I just want to say, by the way, by the way, guys, thank you so much for um, spending time with me today. What do you think of Gorma so far? It's the rawness about it, the potential about it that excites me, I guess. But it could be anything. Who knows? What about you? It's much better this time than it was the first time. It's good to hear. Mm hmm Don't worry about it, I... I what do you mean, don't worry about it? What do, what, what do I mean? Hi. Hey. Howdy, howdy. How are you doing, Aurora? Shuni, thank you for that months, dude. The bad Larry, thank you for 48. He says, happy birth, dude. It's... Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Thank, appreciate it. <laughs> I thought it was a good time to reveal, like, Wallaby's, like, long-term goals now have changed. What happened over there? Did you get bit by a snake or something? Oh, I was shot. Dodgy. <laughs> I don't know. If, do Americans use the word dodgy? <laughs> Pain 
take you out. Anytime. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I didn't have time to wait for a doctor. I was very wanted. And so I just told I her see. to take the bullet out and fucking stitch me. He's dodgy. Nice. Okay, cool. No taste, not my fucking birthday, man. My chat has this obsession with making random days my birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> God's sakes. Bacon, go away. Go away. Go it's on. a fucking pig. Go on. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah, we got an infection. We gave him an infection for that. So. LJ's out here, huh? Mm hmm Yeah, I've already seen him. He, uh, he grew a whole face of hair. He looks terrible, if you ask me. Well, you sure? He's fucking dead. I kind of thought he was until I saw him. Binzi, think of the four months. Happy birthday. For oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Last time you streamed it was 2022. Yeah, thank you, man. Is tomorrow the fourth day from since the bank robbery? Or is it the day after? <laughs> no reason. I'm not asking for any reason, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. I forgot something. What'd she do? She just went thoroughly. Stitching is clean. I don't know if I can say him. No, I don't want to say him. Yeah, that's all right. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Probably the fourth day. It's tempting, but I don't, I don't think Wallaby's ready for it. Would love if Wallaby can retire. Would love the old retired outlaw bit, like Robbie Gold. Them characters are so cool, don't see many. How's the locker? Much better. You need to keep an eye on it, especially out here. I don't plan to stay out here for too long. Alright. Probably end up leaving tomorrow. It's probably for the best. Yeah. Oh, they do like death matches out here. Uh, as far as fighting goes. Right. I think I've heard about it. I don't really know much about it. I mean, Mark that, you would though. I mean, that's Wallaby's. That's Wallaby's a goal at the moment. It doesn't mean he'll make it there. I'm gonna try. He's gonna try. We'll see where it goes though. Story can go anywhere. Story can go. It's a. It's very. Dangerous for him because uh, he's getting more violent. Thank you. You're welcome. I tell Mills I'll, uh. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? Probably trying to practice or say yeah. anything. I love yeah, how most likely the crossing. Be a target practice there. Yeah, you hear bullets, you think it's bad hey. news. Here, you hear bullets, you think somebody's having a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, all I know is, as soon as I landed over here and I heard the, the beaches and the Paris and all that shit, I was like, damn, it's calm as fuck. There's no gunshots, no, no nothing. Not like back home. And then as soon as I, as soon as I heard the gunshots, I threw myself. such a cool place dude it's so different
Who the fuck are these? Oh, it's a scout in Dakota. Hey, have you seen, uh, hey. Teddy? Uh, no. We have not seen him since he walked out of the compound. Excuse me. JJ, right? Yeah? Yeah. Have you seen my friend Edward? No, I hadn't seen him since we were at the compound. Yeah. Um. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. How you doing, Lord? I'm alright. What about you? Seen Eddie around? No, he uh wandered off when we were leaving the compound, and I ain't seen him in town or nothing. Fuck. Where did they say that 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 uh LJ thing was north, right? Way, way, way up north. Why do you think that he was heading up there? Maybe. He might have gone up to that saloon too. Maybe. Shit. Shit. All right. We're looking for Eddie, right? Yeah. So what we could do is uh, if you're up for it, we could start walking and showing you around. And if he fell off a cliff, which is probably the most likely thing, hopefully we'll hear him. I was thinking maybe that's Saloon and maybe uh, LJ's place. Okay, that's a long walk, but so we can go up towards the saloon. I can check LJ's place. If you you're gonna run up there? Yeah, yeah, you do that. Right. Can, you, can you take me to the saloon? Okay, the one up top? Right, yeah. right, the right. one you spoke about. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's go this way. You won't have to climb. You should really invest in horses. They're illegal. Why? There's some environment, something they eat all the plants or something. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Get if a fucking someone wagon. has a donkey, we'd put you on a donkey, bro. Get a fucking wagon. There's only one... The, Jasmine has... If she wins the... Well, the horse that we're going to bet for this game is the final horse of Guarma. El Caballo Finito. It's the last horse ever born on this island. Jasmine has it. Hey, y'all, I'm, uh, I'm heading out. I'll see all right, Jeb. Our donkeys are gone. Aurora is riding a donkey because she got bit by the vet. There's a venomous snake here. We're out of anti-venom. That's right. actually one of the things I want to talk to you about. We might need to get some medical supplies smuggled in every once in a while. Yeah, I can do that. All right, we're going up to the bar to look for Eddie. Let me see. Right. Can he? Can he? I Pull up your shirt. Around I, I, I don't, Aurora has the only one I saw. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, Aurora. She got bit. <laughs> she got bit by a snake in her foot, so yeah, she's not doing good either. Oh, there might be one on the beach. Pull up your shirt. By the um. Yeah, we'll come back down and look. We'll just go up All there, right. and then we'll come back down. It's looking. Stitch. Yeah, that's uh, better now than it was. Good oh. riddance. I gotta find Eddie. All right. Don't Come get him a bar. fucking donkey. Make him walk it off. Irby, if you ever need a super manager, I'll be here for a while. <laughs> Jesus. No. The castle, Herbie. Okay. Yeah, Where the, the fuck time. is Eddie, man? That's fine. Okay. <sighs> I think she showed up to wake once. Uh, Eddie being by himself is potentially dangerous. He, I mean, I've always thought he was a little bit off, but he seems, uh, in a mood. Yeah. Yeah, you could say he that. He was, uh, he ca I, I, I knew it was him. He came with you. Where the fuck did he go? Apparently he gave a fake name. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Yeah, and then he, he wouldn't let me see his face. And I was like, I'm Eddie. Eddie, I know what you, and he kept turning around. And then he's like, I'm very happy to see you. It's, uh, <laughs> we're going around here. Yeah, all right. God damn it, man. Well, when you're more up to it, there's a lot to see here. Um, a lot of fucking I know trees. There are <laughs> a lot of trees. There's some dangerous things here. Uh, the first thing, the most common thing we're going to have to worry about, aside from the venomous snake, is the fact that I have to go pee right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. Nice, man.
we're gonna check up we're gonna check up in this saloon if he's not up there guys i'm probably gonna end so i can go look after the pup so sarah can have a break but if he's up there we'll see what happens because he could be up there doing god no he's probably up there murdering people yeah trench is amazing man trench is amazing Talk with Mills? Dude, I'm gonna be here tomorrow to talk to Mills. I mean no rush to talk to Mills. We're gonna get we're gonna have a conversation with Mills. Don't worry, don't you stress. We'll get the conversation with Mills. I'm definitely talking to him before we leave tomorrow. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk tomorrow, I wanna talk to Mills, then go back to the crossing and then start building inventory. We, we gotta get uh bonds. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep selling the bonds. I'm gonna save up gold and gems though. Those are the two items we gotta we gotta save up. Because although there are other bank robbing gangs, I don't think there's anyone as active as we are robbing banks. I don't think anyone can provide as many gold as we as we can. I think I think we can uh, provide a lot of gold. However, there are a lot of people that like what's his name? Uh Peter Rockwell has a lot of gold now because we've sold to him a few times, but um, long term we can we can provide a lot of gold. All right, he's he's peeing apparently, so give it a second. Uh, Sarah sent me, what's this, pictures. Okay, so the dogs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Sarah. Is she awake? She's not awake. Okay, never mind. <laughs> She's not awake. She's sleeping. Priya Maya, thank you for getting sub to Magic Girl. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. There he is. How was your pay? I mean, re a relief. I forgot to go before I started showing people <laughs> around. I drink, you guys I drink a, a dog lot also. Here. So ah, oh, fucking hot. Mean, dude, we we got a dog. We bought one yesterday. Uh. But aside from my pee, uh, you gotta worry about the, they're very aggressive boars. All right, well I got I got a navy revolver, so yeah, I yeah I do too. They're surprisingly sturdy, but you're a better shot than me, I'm sure. But they're such a fucking pain in the ass. They're very quiet when they're attacking you, and then when they're not, they're very noisy. Uh, we do have some panthers on the island, but they, you don't see them too much. Oh, sorry. You know, uh, you listen. should uh, really consider that how far I go. Oh, we are. We are, for sure. I think uh, if the, uh, you controlled, like, the gun supply here, it gives you a firmer grip on things, you know? Yeah, I would like that. Um, I just think it's going to be... And I think it's good. You know, honestly, we would do it to... For people, because they're, you know... Anybody that lives where Mills is, they're not going to be short supply of guns. Right. But the people, like, in this place and uh, probably up north... And I'd imagine, and, you know, out here, as dangerous as it is, it's very easy to lose your weapons. Yeah, yeah, mostly to the most dangerous thing on this place, uh, cliffs. It's very slippery and humid here. Right. Yeah. Wow. The amount of, uh, there's some people who have lost a, a very expensive guns just because they fell in the ocean. I'll tell you what. Completely you are, if that deal does get cleared. Mm-hmm. I can deliver three crates full of weapons right away. Oh. Well, let me tell you this. Uh, there's no point in beating around the bush with this stuff. I had somebody say they would sell Lancasters to people on this island for 150 apiece. You get what you pay for, Herbie. I, listen, I... I personally don't need them, but it's the people on this island, so... Um, oh, that's good. You know, you, your island... You want to grow it, right? You want yeah, it to yes. be this paradise. Wow. Why did, why did you become a salesman? 
a while ago. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's, it's bad, but the, I, I, I like it. You oh. have made some convincing points. Like oh, that that need, was a great idea. Yeah, well, you need to uh, compete with the crossing, right? Uh, well, on some level, yeah, we want to offer people stuff to bring them here. Snake to your life. The, the militia's big um, interest is just getting this place up and running again. Right. Uh, growing his people, having more opportunity. You know, like I said, the medical thing's coming in. Yeah, but you got to be uh, careful, I was talking too. to Ben. Let me tell you. So I was talking to Ben and JJ about the handcuffs. So what we're going to do since... You know, a crate of handcuffs. If you bring them over, we'll figure out how often. We'll we'll give you the tickets, so you will actually make four hundred dollars on that. Uh, if you bring handcuffs, so that's another thing. Uh, the guns, though, we will we will discuss. Uh, if it's a regular thing, we might be able to get tickets for people that Jasmine makes a deal with. So. Um, That'll help a lot. That's something we've been working on is that having the whole militia agree that people who do business here, they can pay for, you know, why don't oh, we come do, this way, come this why way. Why don't we do something like this? What's that? Let's say I bring two uh, boxes of guns. Mm-hmm. Third crates full of handcuffs. Okay. You cover the ticket price just for the handcuffs. Right. So handcuffs covers tickets, and then uh, we deal with the guns. Okay, okay. Like I said, I gotta ask. Uh, there's some rules here. We can skip them for now. This is Omens. I don't think Delilah's here. Oh. Somebody is. But this is quite the view, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Howdy, Irby. Uh, how did you... Oh, this is Julius. Uh, Wallaby, this is Julius Bradshaw I was telling you about. Cool, yes. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. I'm the Wallaby oh. kid. No shit. Sorry, let me get up. Wallaby kid. Yeah. You wouldn't have to have Pleasure, seen the uh, name of Eddie, would you? No, I have not seen Eddie today, sorry. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. First time out here. Yeah, well, my second, so you're in good company. It's still pretty new to the island, but quite enjoying it. It is quite beautiful. Is this a jump off, Herbie? Uh, it will be, if you like to die, it currently is used, <laughs> um, it's a, it's a good luck thing here, the last sip of the island, the last sip of your drink, you step out there and you, you dump it off and give it back to the island. The woman that runs this place, Delilah, is very superstitious. Uh-huh. Makes um, sense. Yeah. It is, the good thing is, though, you can always, if your friends come up and go, I can't take right it now. anymore. Oh. And then they don't realize that you did a cliff here. Ah, oh, right, 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 of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they jump place. off after you and die. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've Funny seen who some of your Kirby. friends are. Funny joke. Uh, listen, your friends with Speedy, you'd be doing everybody a favor. That's <laughs> my favorite Cliff Couch. I've known him for a long time. That, I was just telling Julie, it's the first time I met this guy uh, in Strawberry on the Porch years ago. He immediately starts telling me how we should work together to open a brothel, to go into prostitution. And then a lawman says, what are you guys talking about? And he screamed and ran away. And the lawman said, why did he run? Doesn't he know prostitution is legal? I mean, that's Speedy. Speedy has quite so, the reputation. <laughs> he does. He does. All over the place, too. All right. We will, um... I'm actually, uh... feeling like I should rest my head a little bit. Okay. But, uh... You want to have a seat here? Yeah, I'm gonna... Just rest up here. If you see Eddie, could you just let him know where I am? Yeah, yeah. All right. I just have a seat that. in one of those comfy chairs. Thank you, Herbie. I appreciate it. Well, of course, of course. We'll uh, talk about the guns after I talk to the militia. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Say, you, uh, Wallaby, I'm going to be leaving Guama tonight. I got some business to attend to back in the crossing, but uh, you know, if you're ever back on the, in the mainland, we should, we should meet up, have ourselves a little conversation. Sure. Uh, take my telegram. It's, uh, yeah, Nutsack591. <laughs> nutsack, I love that. Sorry, Nutsack, what numbers again? 591. 591. Hey, piano, man, where the fuck I hear that from? Brilliant, yeah, yeah, I'll write you. Alright. 
Might be uh, operating in similar corners of the world, so don't want to, you know, step on any toes, all that. Make sure we can of course, uh, of course. Uh, cohabitate happily. Yeah, all right. Shouldn't be a problem. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, hey, you take care. Hope you uh, you're feeling better. All right. Sorry that it was a shorter stream today, guys, but uh, yeah, I got this puppy to look after. So we'll be back probably tomorrow. Let's see what I'm going to send you to. Hold. Let's get them wiggles in the chat and the dancers. Why not? We are establishing connections in Guama. Thank God, man. It took so long to get out here, but very cool atmosphere, man. I, I feel like it's dangerous. There's this underlining threat that I really, really like. Uh, let's send you to... <laughs> no, God, I got no idea. I got no idea. Uh, let's just go random, maybe? Let's, um... I guess we can go angel knives. Let's go angel knives. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate that. You guys are very supportive. And it's not my goddamn birthday, but I'll see you soon. Till then, ta-ta and farewell. Bye.